Sam Russell is in goal. Paul Arneson is a right back. Ian Miller and Liam Hatch, the two centre backs. Aaron Brown at left back. In front of the back four will be Jamie Chandler. The two centre midfielders we expect Gary Smith and Mark Ridge Wilkinson. Up front as a target man, Tommy Wright, and Dean not here. Chris Moore and John Campbell. As James said, Chris Moore completes a, a notable double. He started the FA Vars final with Whitley Bay in 2009 when they beat Glossop North End. And he starts the day for Darlington against Mansfield. On the bench for Darlow, Danzel St. Louis Hamilton, the spare keeper, Chris Senior, Paul Terry, Phil Gray and Aman Burma. Mansfield Town have had one or two injuries. They've only got four men on the bench. Alan Marriott is in ball. He hasn't played in the trophy this season. He's been injured. And he's just uh, recovered full fitness. Gary Silk is at right back. Steve Foster wants a Darlow is at centre back alongside him. Tom Naylor at left back Dan Spence. The danger man, Louis Briscoe. Very speedy left midfield player. And he'd be a test for Paul Arneson. Alongside him, Tyrone Thompson, Kyle Nixon, Adam Smith. Ahead of them, Adam Murray. And up front, Paul Connor, who must have passed the fitness test. On the bench, Danny Mitchley, Paul Stonehouse. Ashley Kane and Neil Collins, our referee, our Premiership referee, Stuart Atwell from the Midlands. He's been, he's been in charge of a Darlow game before, Exeter against Darlington, I can remember, about three years ago. And uh, the formalities are being completed. Ian Miller throws the coin in the air. And uh, the negotiate who's kicking off and who's going to kick in what direction. And it looks, Kevin, as if Darlow are 4 3 3. Yeah, I think we got that right, Ray. And I think it's a good formation to have. My worry was whether we were going to go with a diamond. It didn't work in the in the last home game. We could have been about three or four down if not for Sam Russell doing his, his job to perfection. So on a pitch like this, I think it's a good formation. Obviously, we've got to combat. And, and, and I just hope that every one of them plays in the Darlington shirt place to their potential today where they've all got individual battles to win against the opposition let's boss them and it all gels together and we create opportunities and that's when we make sure we put the ball in the back of the net the noise rises to a crescendo referee Atwell checks with his two assistants checks with the two goalkeepers the 42nd FA Trophy final between Darlington and Mansfield Town starts now Mansfield kick off, attacking from right to left. The ball swung high, but it's headed away firmly by Aaron Brown. Comes back to Gary Silk. Gary Silk knocks it up the line. Brown is there again to glance the ball back to Sam Russell to give him a precious early touch. I tell you what, Kevin, there seems to be more than 9,000 Darlow yeah, fans down here. Does, doesn't it? I'd like to count them on the way out if I had the time. It's uh, certainly, uh, I think, a lot of fans taking advantage of uh, purchasing tickets on the day. Ball downfield. Aim towards Tommy Wright. The ball headed away by Naylor and uh, Darlow get a free kick for a foul on Hatch. And Aaron Brown to take it. Brown. Left footed. And Darlow being quite inventive at set pieces this season. Brown. Left footed. Aim towards Tommy Wright. Ball goes behind right and uh, Mark Ridge Wilson can't quite get there. Almost a loose clearance by Spence. Cleared by Miller, the Dallow skipper. Ball put behind the fullback Spence who clears it downfield. Gary Smith wins the header. But loses out to Connor who runs through now. And Russell comes out of his goal gets it away yeah Sam Russell did absolutely brilliant there he saw the danger early and he was started the 18 yard box and put all his shoe leather behind that ball and sent it nearly up into the top tier of the Wembley stand which is empty but uh, again we got caught there by the two central defenders being square tight together one of them must go with the runner Chandler wins the ball for Darlow and finds Bridge Wilkinson on this right hand side Bridge Wilkinson in field to Campbell now Chandler trying to get it over the top looking for Chris Moore but too far ball goes out of play for a goal kick to Mansfield away to our left hand side 
you've already mentioned some of their players, Ray, and, and rightly so. There's, there's some of our darling players have got an extra, extra bit to do, if you must, uh, if, if I must say so. And you've mentioned the fact that obviously Paul Connor, hopefully he's carrying an injury, so he's not 100. percent But you've you've mentioned the fast lad Briscoe. We've got to make sure we do a special job on him and make sure we're aware of where he is at all the times on the pitch. He's fast, he's dangerous, and he can score goals. At the moment, Briscoe's playing on the right-hand side of midfield. We thought he'd be on the left. Free kick, Darlow. To be taken by Sam Russell. I don't understand why we're on the halfway line. Sam Russell comes all the way at the halfway line to launch a ball that the goalkeeper the hands of the keeper. catches. I'm sure that, you know, there's enough players in the dark shirt <laughs> have the same ability to do that. Well, Marriott's just wasted that clearance all the way downfield. Straight into the hands. Of Sam Russell. Russell up the left hand side this time, trying his luck for Tommy Wright, but uh, Tom Naylor gets the ball downfield. Now Murray trying to play a 1 2 with Connor, but again, uh, good tackle comes in for Gary Smith, and then Aaron Brown wins the throw in. Three and a half minutes gone here at Wembley, FA Trophy final. Thanks very much for tuning in this afternoon. And James is on the touchline. Yes, just some uh, early observations on the touchline. And uh, you were saying about Sam Russell's clearance there. The management team weren't happy either. Richard Dryden just saying, you know, have a look to the size, put it to the wing. And also, they've just been giving Paul Arneson some instructions as well to, to run the channels. Don't be afraid to run down. And Chris Moore, when he received the ball fairly early on, on the right-hand side of the area, I think Mark Cooper would have liked him to make that run a little bit earlier because when he did get to it, uh, it actually went off for a goal kick. Oh, and a, a mistake there by Sam Russell, who's just controlled it under his foot and it goes into the goal area, he eventually clears. Yes, that is a dodgy moment, shall we say, well, but uh, fortunately so there wasn't enough pace on that through ball and Russell apologises, but dear you make him. Well, you, you know, that's a lack of concentration and it's not what you want to see from your management sitting on the bench, it's not what the rest of the team want to see, and again, look, a little bit of sloppiness falls in. Yeah, and now it's Nick's on the left-hand side, and uh, Dallow can see the corner, doesn't it? No, no, it's a full yeah, kick. Goal kick. But uh, again, Quake has caught a little bit there. We were saying before the game, whoever makes the fewer mistakes is, will probably win the game. Yeah. And, and there's two there. Yeah, one and straight after the, the other. It, it, it becomes infectious, doesn't it? Some lack of concentration takes his eye off the ball, nearly lets it roll towards his open goal, recovers it well. And then we see Bridge Wilkinson making a sloppy pass straight to the uh, Mansfield player. Just got to sharpen up and make sure our passing is crisp. Campbell nearly got in behind there, but uh, it was intercepted by Naylor. The ball forward towards uh, Adam Smith, who tried to get the ball inside, but uh, it's broken up by Mark Bridge Wilkinson. Chris Moore has a throw in now. In fact, he'll leave it for Paul Arneson. We half expected Anderson to be facing Briscoe, but uh, at the moment Briscoe's on the other side of the field. We were trying to get away down the, the right. Yeah, we did. We did actually think that uh, Mansfield would want to work um, Anderson quite a lot down this uh, uh, down their left-hand side. Uh, maybe it's to come. Anyway, Paul Anderson with the throw in for Dallo. Trying to throw it short of Richard Wilkinson, but he was well spotted by. Adam Murray, but uh, Arneson almost won it back, and Steve Foster tries to switch the ball to the right, look for Briscoe, but instead it's collected by Aaron Brown, who runs towards the corner and uh, attracts a couple of defenders with him, and wins the throw in, well played by Brown. And it was Naylor who conceded it. Nil nil. Yeah, Aaron Brown was running down a blind alley there, and he done well to get the uh, throw in. We do know he's got a bit of a, uh, of a long throw on him, so he's going to launch it in uh, Stoke City style. Not all that far, though, towards Tommy Wright, and uh, is headed away by Naylor. Now Murray looking for Connor. Connor lays it off back into midfield, uh, trying to find Nicks, but uh, it bounced off Gary Smith, and Paul Arneson was able to mop up, get the ball back to his keeper. Russell downfield. Aim towards Tommy Wright, put out a player by the right back, Gary Silk, for a throw in to Dallow. Brown to Campbell. Brown trying to get it forward and oh, 
the referee's seen a challenge he doesn't like. I think it came in from Adam yeah. Murray, a touch I, too high. Yeah, I think he was a, a, a foot too high in his challenge, showing his studs as well. Just slightly caught Aaron Brown on his left foot. I'm sure uh, that little bit of kidology will be in there as well. Well, this is free kick territory now for Dalow. Is Mark Bridge Wilkinson with it? Got on Miller the far side. Up. Towards the far post, looking for Miller, headed away, I think, by Foster. And away comes Adam Smith for Mansfield Town. Trying to play it in field, but uh, Chandler does well to slide in against uh, Murray. And uh, Brown again is able to mop it up. Confident start ish for Darlow, Kevin. And far from those two silly mistakes, they're trying, yeah. to, get, trying to get control of the game. Yeah, I, th I think. Uh, Points are even though Mansfield is, you know, creating little one twos and getting their passing game together just a little bit better than us, I think. I think Tommy Wright needs to win one or two of these balls when they when they go field. He's been on jump for a couple. And, uh, Bridge works and tried to play a ball in field there towards Gary Smith, but he was intercepted by Naylor. Yeah, you mentioned Tommy, you know, he's up against a, a, an old war horse, shall we say, and Stevie Foss. So he's got, uh, you know, he's got to be cute. Russell downfield. Uh, Foster beats right in the air, but uh, Dallow regained possession. Arneson trying to play Chris Moore, and Chris Moore slid in, and he was caught by a high yeah. boot <laughs> from yeah. uh, Adam Smith. And uh, yeah, the ref saying that was accidental. Yeah, I you can't, you can't put any blame on the Mansfield player. They both slid in. From, from from further away than they usually would, but the, the you know the the, 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 the the surface with it being slippy has slipped them in. And uh, yeah, the pitch was water before yeah, the game. Yeah, it's, all the uh, sprinklers were on there. Yeah, it was so, raining this morning. So uh, yeah. six o'clock when I opened the, the hotel bedroom curtains and and he's given. I think he's given throw, and I, I think he realises that uh, you know there's no malice uh, intended there. Um, Chris Miller might need a little bit of dentistry off the club dentist <laughs> come next week, but uh, physio's good mopping him up. I don't don't see any uh, any claret, red wine, or anything coming away. Miller is okay. He'll be he's fine. Coming, he's coming off the field. He's fine. He's okay now. But, uh, James, on the touchline, you might be able to tell us a bit more. Yeah, uh, I think the referee has just ordered a new a shirt to be given yeah. to uh, Chris Moore because Richard Dryden has just indicated to uh, Andrew Thompson, the... Uh, uh, the kit man just to bring on a new shirt what happened it what I think it was just an innocuous challenge both players slid into it in a distance uh, and uh, Moore's face was caught by the boot of the Mansfield player uh, it looked pretty nasty interestingly during that pause we had Richard Dryden was taking time just to speak to Liam Hatch perhaps a little bit about his defensive positioning of course Dryden uh, was a defender as well as a player so he'd be a good man to uh, to talk to Liam Hatch about that but uh, it looks like Chris Moore at the moment making his way to perhaps uh, just come back onto the field at some point Dallow won a corner, which all right, thanks to the corner flag, stopping the ball from going out of play, and then uh, Campbell closing down on Dan Spence, the ball rebounding off the Mansfield left back, and uh, Aaron Brown is expected to take this corner, he hesitated as he looked across to the bench. Uh, just seen the club doctor running out there, don't know if there's a cut, it doesn't look as though he's going to go in for a stitch, yeah. So I think they'll just be trying to stem the blood yeah. and get just him back on the pitch as soon as they possibly can. Just got to be careful, momentarily down to ten, and the referee spotted a bit of pushing and shoving going on in the in the box involving uh, Liam Hatch and I think Tyrone Thompson of uh, Mansfield. Moore doing his best to come back on. Fourth official keep his eye on it. Aaron Brown with the corner. Right, here we go. Left foot up, whipped in, Mario comes for it and uh, it's cluttered, but uh, he manages to get a good fist to it and Murray plays it long downfield, but uh, Darlow have it covered, Arneson knocks it back. Comfortably mopped up by Arneson there. But, you know, he's, he's the type of player you want in games like this, you know, for his experience and his, and his level-headedness, and he's just mopped up a, a difficult ball. Glancing the ball with his head back safely to uh, the goalkeeper. Smith to Moa, Moa whipping it into the near post, and he actually goes into the side net, and that gives him a quick chance to go across to the valley. And Ivan. Yes, sorry. 
Hello there. Ivan, what's the latest score, please? Sorry, I, I missed it. There's no goals here. The only incident we've had of any note came in the seventh minute. A long ball forward. Bradley Wright Phillips was in. Got passed forward. Beat Flinders. His shot came back off the bar. That was a lucky escape. And then a minute or so later, Collins, a weak header back. Paul Benson was nearly in. Flinders again makes the save. It's all charted at the moment. 11 minutes gone, no goals. Thanks very much, Ivan. Nil, nil. Uh, the Valley, nil, nil. At Wembley, just a few miles away in North London. Smith to Moore, who's back on the field now. Moore, left foot of ball towards that far post, trying to get Campbell in behind, but it's headed away, and Chandler collects it for Darlow. Plays it behind Aaron Brown, forcing yeah. Brown to come back to his own half, but Brown still gets it up the line. Gary Smith gives chase, but it's... Uh, the ball's gone, out of play for a ball kick away to our right-hand side. Yeah, neither side's really settled on the ball as much, you know, there's lots of challenges. As soon as you get the ball, they're closing you down, they're not giving either team. A little bit of a stalemate going on at the moment, but I'm sure that'll settle down and uh, some uh, decent play, hopefully, from Darlington will uh, be created. Mansfield fans trying to get their team going. We're, there's two press boxes at Wembley, one on either side of the Prawn Sandwich Brigade, and uh, we're in the right-hand side amongst the, the Mansfield fans. Throwing the Dallow away to the right hand side. Mark Bridge Wilkinson to take it short to Moore and now Bridge Wilkinson again trying to get into the area. Oh, that was a good Take ball in. Campbell couldn't quite get there. Gary Smith trying to keep it alive. He heads it into the area. Steve Foster lets it bounce for his goalkeeper Alan Marriott and he rolls it out to Gary Silk on that right hand side. It was a lovely ball in by Chris Miller there, Ray. Unfortunately, a little bit static, our two strikers in their box. No, no one gambled near to the front, and the other one was at the back. Got to be making one or the other move. Ball knocked forward by Silk, looking for Connor. Confidently headed out and play by Hatch for a throw-in to Mansfield on that far side. Now here's some danger, though. But uh, it was Briscoe running forward, but uh, he lost his foot. Bridge Wilkinson for Darlington to Gary Smith. Smith, he loses his foot as well on that far side, and uh, he might have knocked that one back to Brown, who launches it up the left hand side. Tommy Wright gives chase, Alan Marriott allows the ball to go out of play for a goal kick. Yeah. James, more news on the touchline. Uh, yeah, they're still not happy with the Chris Moore situation. He's been playing for the last uh, four or five minutes, actually, with a tissue, holding a tissue, and every now and then he puts it to, I think it's his teeth which are bleeding. Uh, the club doctor and the physio in deep conversation. Uh, and Richard Dryden has just ordered Armand Verma to, to warm up. And just, just reading his lips, I wonder if he's just talking about Chris Moore. So uh, they're going to see how he goes. But at the moment, I think he's still bleeding. And as I say, he's having to, to play with a tissue. So, concern for Darlow. Well, if it's his gun, gun that's actually cut, really, it'll take some uh, doing to get that to stop bleeding. So, as, although there's nothing physically wrong with his legs and his engine, you know, the cosmetic side of it might force him out of this game. Interesting. Moore back to Miller, into the box, look up at Campbell, a header across the area by Spence, but cleared by Naylor, Chandler, does well to win it back, but uh, now Gary Silk, the right back, picks it up and finds Tyrone Thompson. Silk knocking it forward. Connor, oh, that, that, that was a flick on to Briscoe, that's the one and we're he, worried about. And he wasn't picked up. He's got to be knowing when he's going to burst out from his midfield to join the front. Someone has got to see it and pick him up because if that ball had been a good flick, he'd have cashed his chips in and been one on one on our keeper. Briscoe's a top scorer in the league for Mansfield this season with 13. Brown for Darlow, left back. Spreads it across field to the skipper Miller. Miller to Moore. And now Bridge Wilkinson chipping it left foot and forward for Campbell, but Campbell couldn't quite bring it down just a inch or two high for yeah, him. Yeah, I think he needed that on the floor through the gap, you know, and he would have been running onto that. Instead, it was up in the air and he. The top of his head just glanced it further on and well out of his reach. So, Mansfield with it again. Now here's Murray trying to find Briscoe on the right-hand side against Brown. 
Brown stands up well, Hatch intercepts in the near post and concedes a corner. First one for Mansfield. That's the problem, Kevin, with uh, this course pace, isn't it? Well, that is the problem, and, and Mansfield do look a little bit as though they have the edge more on the flanks than we do personally, as we've just seen then, Ray. Corner comes in, and uh, Header came in, I think it was... Uh, Stevie Foster, is it? Foster, yeah, yeah. We've gone in front of uh, Russell, but the ball's come at such a pace and too high for Foster. And the ball goes over the bar from the former Darlow skipper. Yeah, you'd still like to see your keeper get in there before the centre-half for Mansfield. Sam Russell then with the goal kick for Darlow. 18 minutes gone. 0-0. Here in the 42nd FA Trophy final. Tommy Wright is pulled up for a foul. Yeah, I think his elbow is just a little bit too high for the referee's liking. Silk takes the free kick to Foster. Foster left foot and forward. Miller wins the header in the air. Yeah. Thompson uh, almost uh, barges Bridgewood to Nova. Good ball down the right hand side from Chandler to Moore. Moore oh. has got three to win, four in the middle. Moore trying to create space and does. Good one out towards a far post and keeper catches it the second attempt under pressure from Tommy Wright. Yeah, again, Chris Moore's getting down them flanks and he's. I thought he'd missed his opportunity, Ray, because he, you know, the forwards were running in on goal and he didn't whip it in, he stopped it and then hit it with his, his left foot further forward and ran and whipped it in with his right. Great ball in, but again, you know, we're not on the end of them crosses. Now, Adam Smith for Mansfield on the left-hand side, running against Arneson. Left footed ball into the box, which blocked by Arneson and Bridgewoods and having to thump it away. A blue balloon drifts onto the pitch as Tommy Wright chases after the ball which is now in the hands of Alan Marriott, the Mansfield keeper. He rolls it to Naylor, and now Foster. Two sides are drawn in the league this season. It was 1-1 at Field Mill back in October. Tommy Wright scored a very late equaliser for Darlow. Then it was 0-0 in the return game in January at the arena. James has more news on the touchline. Yeah, just to say, I think the Chris Moore situation just seems to be clearing up now. The referee's speaking to him, uh, no, sorry, to Mark Bridge Wilkinson at the moment, but Chris Moore seems to be getting on with things. Uh, Mark Cooper wasn't entirely happy, actually. The, the Mansfield chance we had a few moments ago where the ball got crossed in from the right and Hatch was forced to put it off for a corner. Mark Cooper unhappy with the way possession was given away. Now well, Murray through to again. Connor. Connor in the inside left position. I would say a great challenge comes across from Hatch to clear the immediate danger. And Hatch again gets another block in. As, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Ray, for, for a centre forward, he certainly did a centre half's job admirably there. Um, you know, this, he had to retrieve that situation in the first place because Miller had gone forward to approach the ball and, and he ran across behind Miller. So Spence into the area towards a far post and Brown with a glance yeah, ahead and puts the ball out and play for a corner. And Hatch was just a little bit slow reacting there, so he did redeem himself well. Worrying times for Darlow, though. It's not what they want. It's Mansfield of their second corner. Whipped in again. Russell stays on his line, headed away by Hatch, I think it was. Lewis was caught there, but uh, referee was beyond because Campbell has it. Yeah, good the inside left. Gary Smith made a great run ahead of him. If he can only thread it through, but it's slightly behind him. And it's still a chance for Tommy Wright, but he goes over the top. But yeah. uh, Campbell just a touch too slow to find Gary Smith there. Smith had a laid back yeah, for Tommy Wright. Great referee in by that. Well, he's, you know, he saw the player get hacked. I think it was Chris Newer. He allowed play to go on. We were breaking on the left. It was a great counter-attack with a lot of thrust and pace, and we ended up with a shot on goal. It's a shame that Tommy couldn't make the keeper make the save, but at the end of the day, a great created uh, opportunity there. Darlow haven't scored at Wembley. Two blanks in the two playoff finals against Plymouth and Peterborough. Ball forward by Brown, looking for Wright, who uh, is fouled <laughs> by Naylor, says the referee. Uh, I didn't think he was going to get that. He's very cute, Tommy Wright at times, and... He thought he over-elaborated there, but his uh, dying swan act got him the uh, free kick there. Right, here we are again. Bridge Wilkinson with it. Ian Miller's gone off. Liam Hatch has stayed back this time. John Campbell lurking at the far post. And it's in Darlington's left-channel attacking area. 
Now, Mark Bridge wants to direct in operations, moving players around, whether he's just trying to throw Mansfield off. I don't know. He's trying to divert the traffic. But it might be Aaron Brown taking the free kick anyway. Because he and Bridge Wilkinson are both over it. Right. Bridge Wilkinson. There he goes, Peel it's Brown, back. left foot towards Miller. Miller gets the header in, but uh, can't get the direction. All the power on the ball trickles out and play for a goal kick. The way it's all right yeah, that free kick looked like it's something that's been worked on in the uh, on the training ground, but uh, I think they need a little bit more work on it as well because it certainly didn't uh, bear any fruit whatsoever. 23 minutes gone here at Wembley, the FA Carlsberg Trophy final. Dallow nil, Mansfield nil. Mansfield have been to Wembley before. 1987 Fred Rover Trophy final against Bristol City. They won 5 4 on penalties after a 1 1 draw. Russell with the free kick. M for right headed away by Nella. For a throw to Darlow on that far side. Aaron Brown with it. Brown. Throws it back towards Hatch. Hatch, left foot across towards the area, right trying to flick it on. But uh, Foster is there to comfortably head the ball back to his keeper, Marriott. Yeah, just at the moment, uh, Tommy Wright isn't winning his battles. You'd give it 3 1 to Fozzie at the moment. Marriott with the clear, it's up the left hand side. Miller does well to get in front of Connor. Connor looks uncomfortable. We know that he was struggling with a calf injury. Ball played forward by Bridge Wilson. Gary Smith nearly bounced on the loose ball. But uh, Tyrone Thompson comes away with it. Plays a 1-2 in midfield. And, well, a chance came in from Bridge Wilkinson, which the referee says is illegal on Kyle Nix, I think it was. And I think uh, Richard Dryden's just waved for Ver Verma to get himself up to the uh, dugout position. Well, Verma scored three times in the trophy this season. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, a few more deeper instructions now. Yeah, something's going to happen soon. Yeah. Ball into the Dallow area, headed away though by Brown. Chris Moore seemed to be uh, tripped there as he was going for the ball. Now Kyle Nix on the right-hand side though to Briscoe. Briscoe against Brown. Brown needs to stand up to him and does well, wins it off him. And uh, uh, comes away and plays a good ball forward to Campbell who's got... Had a chance to control it and turn, but he was a little bit over anxious. This is, the the danger, striker. this is the danger, Ray, when it gets up there, the strikers must make it stick. Now, Arneson, uh, he's got that one into space, and uh, Moore making a run across to challenge Spence. Spence is there first, though, to get it away. Arneson uh, with a defensive header backwards that uh, Liam Hatch manages to clear, but it still drops though, on this right-hand side to... Moore and then Bridge Wilkinson, but uh, Bridge Wilkinson puts it out on the player for a throw in, and uh, that gives us a chance to go over to the valley and speak to Ivan. Yeah, here we go. It's still no goals here, just as Bassoni gets a knock in a nasty place. Since you came in, before you came, remember Wright Phillips had hit the bar, beating Flinders quite easily. Then Monkhouse, lovely ball inside to Jan Turner. He trod on the ball, which is rather unfortunate. Then at the other end, Callum Har Harriet, a very fierce volley, inches wide. Then Miguel Herrera, the centre back, came up for a free kick. Great free kick through the wall. Flinders, a very good save. So Flinders made a save. Charlton have hit the ball. the box towards the far post and Sam Russell. And it's a corner now to Hartlepool. Still uh, Charlton. And uh, the danger there for Dallow because uh, Connor broke down the right hand side and uh, a crossover towards the far post where there were two players waiting. But uh, Sam Russell came line to comfortably hold on. And another Dallow player is receiving treatment now, Gary Smith. And uh, James might have some news about that. A knock on his thigh, which is currently being seen to, but uh, I don't think the Chris Moore situation has resolved itself yet as they would have liked. Uh, I think Kevin was right, it is his gun, which is to have uh, blown up like a massive balloon, and Armand Verme is going to come on. I know that they've told the fourth official they're going to make the substitution, but that was before Smith got injured, so whether Verma will come on for Moore or Smith, or, or perhaps they'll even make two, but I think Verma's going to come on. The question is who's for, but uh, at the moment they're dropping like flies. 
James, uh, what, what do you think the injury is to Gary Smith? Because he's had a problems with knee injuries, hasn't he, all season? It looks like a thigh injury from where I can see. It was a, an innocuous challenge, and it yeah. looks like Smith has, has come off worse for wear. Um, whether Smith complained about this before and they've decided to get Armand Verma ready, I'm not too sure. Um, the physio has got Gary Smith up now, uh, and Verma has just made his way uh, onto the, the edge of the technical area, ready to come on. Gary Smith being helped off the field. It's ironic, Kevin, isn't it? That uh, before the game, Mansfield was saying about the injuries that they had, and now Dalo probably going to make one substitution, and now they've got a question mark over another midfielder. Yeah, but I think Gary Smith's just got a, what we call a plug on the thigh. It hurts, you know, a heck of a lot, but uh, as soon as he works the muscle, he'll run through that. Some later scores: uh, Bradford one, Crew one, Stockport nil. Cheltenham 1, Wickham 2, Southend 1, we know about Charlton 0, Hartlepool 0, and also uh, this before it was uh, Middlesbrough 3, Doncaster 0, in the Premiership Aston Villa 1, Wigan 1. And we've just seen uh, Verma putting his um, British Rail, shall we say, vest on his fluorescent jacket, and he's gone back to warming up on the sidelines. Um, so whatever's going to was going to happen is getting delayed here. To hatch challenges, Connor, and uh, the ball spun off Hatch's right foot, almost went off for a corner with Jamie Chandlich raced back and uh, put the ball out of play for a, a throw-in into that empty bank of red seats on the far side. Where have I said that before? <laughs> That's habitual. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just the lower tier you're open here at Wembley this afternoon, but still a great atmosphere here. anyway. Mansfield trying to build up, it is danger. The shot coming in, it was uh, Murray who'd uh, played the 1 2 on the yeah. edge of the area. Now the ball back in the area again. Good firm header away by Miller and uh, Brown somehow managed to clear that again with his knee to Arneson on the right hand side. Moore, Moore on the right, Arneson making an overlap. Smith's inside if he wants him, the ball into the box and Campbell there, it's a little bit tentative as he went towards it and if he'd had a little bit of... Do you know, I don't uh, think he had the belief. Yeah. I don't think he had the belief. He, had, he, 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 he was running onto a ball he could have hit with his right foot and he didn't pull the trigger. He let it run by him. It's Did he uh, get a shout? Maybe, I don't know, Kevin, but uh, it seemed to be going perfectly for him to volley oh, about hey, Uncle High, wasn't hey, it? Hey, Ray, when you're in the box as a striker, what do you do? You don't think of anything but yourself in that situation. You pull the trigger and hope it hits the net. He no did mind. none of it. Never mind, at least he was in the position. Half an hour gone, exactly, here at Wembley. Darlow nil, Mansfield nil. Yeah, Chris Moore was getting a lot of joy on Darlington's uh, right-hand side. Brown with a cross into the middle and... Uh, Moore almost got in behind, but Spence flicked the ball away. Now Arneson, right foot across towards the far post. R Tommy Wright almost got there. Ball headed away as far as Brown. Brown under pressure from Murray, steps inside him. Bridge Wilkinson to Chandler in the centre circle. Now Arneson on the right-hand side. Arneson back to Chandler. Chandler along the ground now to Smith. Smith infield to Bridge Wilkinson in space. Bridge Wilkinson out to the right again to Moore. Moore to Smith. Smith, patient builder by Dallow. Smith steps inside, shooting chance, but he's gone on too oh. far. Shout for a penalty as it goes down, but half hearted. No. But uh, Kevin, he had the chance to pull the trigger there. I couldn't he, believe he didn't. He, he went for an extra man. He just went and overcooked it. That's all Thompson it. running through, though, at the other end. But uh, Chandler is back well to cover. And uh, great defensive work there by Chandler to break that one up. Arneson to Moore. Chandler again. Now Arneson forward towards Tommy Wright who's beaten in the air by Foster Wright claims he was fouled referee says nothing do it now Connor with uh, Smith with him but uh, it's cleared by Arneson again yeah you just feel the game's warming up a little bit more the both stepped up a gear I think Connor's uh, struggling but here's Campbell at the other end Campbell trying to hold up his man he's got Tommy Wright with him Campbell being forced backwards and uh, challenge comes in from Spence ball knocked off field and, uh, I think Paul Connor's struggling with that calf injury for Mansfield. And I think the message is going back to the bench that he is. Yeah, it looks like they've, they've took the gamble on him, knowing it's the last game of the season. And what's at stake? It's probably worth the gamble, unfortunately. And thankfully for us, it hasn't come off. 
James, any word uh, down there? James, any word on the touchline there about the Paul Connor injury? Yeah, it looks like the the the, uh, the Mansfield physio is just saying, can you run it off? They're trying to encourage him to stay on, and but but Paul Connor does look in a fair bit of pain at the moment. But at the moment. Uh, or, or for the time being, should I say, it looks like Paul Connor's going to try and see it off, maybe to go till half time. Yeah, he's not looking happy. You keep seeing him looking down at his leg, as though it's not going to be there in about two seconds. So he's, he's obviously aware of it. It's obviously hurting him. Good header away. And see what happens. Good header away by Hatch. Can you remember early on though that Connor had a chance, you know, to run at Russell, and yeah, Russell yeah. beat him yeah. outside the yeah, area, he and he didn't look comfortable then, did he? No, and he's, he, you can see he's conscious of it. He's actually looking down at his leg all the time as well. He's expecting it not to be there in the next few seconds. Murray trying to run forward, and uh, the referee says that Hatch fouled him, and Hatch remonstrates with Murray. Yeah, Hatch has got to watch himself here because, you know, he's a, he's a Premiership referee. He's going to have the standards of the Premiership. He's not going to be a little bit more relaxed and loose and... And, 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 and turn a blind eye as much as, as the officials at the level that he's used to uh, dealing with Hatch. And we all know Hatch does like to uh, to open his mouth a bit with the officials. He's just got to watch himself because uh, Atwell's not the type who'll take too much nonsense. Well, the referee hasn't shown a card to Liam Hatch. And rightly so. But it's a free kick instead to Mansfield about. 30 yards out. <laughs> now, the referee is having a word with Adam Murray uh, yeah, via Steve Foster. Yeah, he's going the, through the, the captain. Yeah. He's going through the procedure. Yeah. Just saying, look, calm down. Man. Keep on your feet, don't uh, over elaborate your dives. Yeah. Free kick. Anxious moments for Darlow. Kyle Nix with it. Lots of uh, movement inside the Dallow County area. Two man wall. Yeah, Defence trying to push ball Mansfield back. Towards a far post and a uh, good header by Hatch to get it away. Arneson might just stop the throw in and he, and he does. does on the far side. Arneson, ball forward. Looking for Moore, headed away by Silk for a Dallow throw. Dallow defended that well, didn't he? Yeah. Ian Miller's marshalling his defence really, really well at the moment. He got his head to that one. He's in the thick of it, the two centre-backs doing the job well at the moment because, hey, at the end of the day, they're either defending, they're defending well. It's like a game of chess at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, you can just see it. It's to and I'm throwing. Now, Campbell trying to find... Suspiciously uh, offside. Could have been offside. We were never there, but, uh, hey, we won't crumble. Darlow have... Almost yeah. the possession and ball Steve, hooked out and played by Foster. Steve Foster's just the linesman because he, he played him offside deliberately. He knew and thought he would get the flag and he didn't. Brown with a cross into the area. Header oh. comes in and uh, it was Bridge Wilkinson who got up there. And he's got hurt. And, and, no, sorry, it's Chris Miller who got up there. Cross coming in from the left from Brown. But Chandler wins it back for Darlow. Chandler gets past two men. He's got lots of movement here, he's got four teammates and he's got Bridge Wilson on his right. Quality Chance to put a good cross in, but uh, straight into the hands of the keeper and four yeah. Dalo players waiting in the box there. But again, Ray, you want to see someone burst in the lungs to get across the front post. If they had have done that, they would have been first at the ball and it could have possibly gone in the back of the net. Instead, no one's really committed the run at the front stick and it's a comfortable catch for the keeper on the front post. Defensive clearance by Hatch to Brown. Brown forward. Right beaten by Foster in the air and uh, right took and bang on the top of the head there and the referee is immediately stopped play. Uh, but uh, Tommy Wright's okay. The referee immediately signals to the bench, look, uh, no need for the physio to come on. Mark Cooper, the Dallow manager on the edge of his technical area, talking to Richard Dryden. Referee wondering what to do next. <laughs> John Campbell having a quick drink from a a water bottle that's on that far side. It's a humid afternoon, temperature up to about 25 degrees here at Wembley. And uh, Bridge works and gives the ball back to Marriott. They're popping over to Ivan soon at the Valley. 37 minutes gone. Dalo nil. Mansfield nil. Ball goes forward towards Murray Hatchmist, the header. 
but uh, Hatch is uh, a bit slow in getting up. Tommy Wright, good hold up there, brings Arneson into it on the right hand Tom, side. Tommy to Wright Moore. very strong there. Moore again to Arneson, back to Moore. Now Moore trying to get round the backs. First touch let him down, he's trying to get behind Smith there. Smith though running back towards his own goal line. Good clearance by him, off field, it's uh, got a lot of distance on it. And uh, Hatch had to slide in in the centre circle to win that one back. Ball back with Marriott, gives a chance for him to the valley, and Ivan. It's no goals here, you remember early on Phillips at the bar and then um, Harriet fizzed an effort just wide and, and uh, Flinders made a good save from a layer of free kick. Jonathan Fortune has been carried off for Charlton, twisted his knee and we had an incident where three players were cautioned, Semedo and Little, they clashed, Little conceded the foul, Austin came in a little bit over enthusiastically, pushed somebody out of the way so all three got cautions, it's all calmed down, chance on the penalty here for Sweeney, he tries to turn, he can't, so it's still Charlton nil, Hartlepool United nil. Thanks, Ivan and Dallow making substitution. Aman Verma. Oh, it's Smith going and it's off. Gary Smith coming off. Uh, That's that, a bit of a blow. That, that James might know more on the touchline. Yeah, I think that attack that, that Darlington had just a few moments ago, Kevin said that they'll be disappointed a man wasn't there to convert, and I think that's what they're thinking about Gary Smith. He could have been the man to make that late run. He hasn't, and I think Mark, that's made Mark Cooper's mind up effectively. Uh, now, Verma presumably will switch into life-for-life -like substitution, so Verma presumably will join uh, Charlton and Bridge Wilkinson in that three-man midfield now. Now, Murray for Mansfield, and uh, Adam Smith tried to work it out to the left. Spence but overhit it, ball goes out of play for a throw in to Darlow. Just on the substitution, I think it's a bit of a blow for, 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 for Darlington and uh, and for you know he'll be bitterly disappointed with uh, Smithy for you know having to leave the field so early in a game where you know he was doing his job really well, he was blocking things off and trying to join and link up with the forwards and uh, now we've just got to see if Varma can uh, step into the shoes. Now Chandler is fouled, he received a, a quick ball from Bridge Wilkinson and was uh, caught late by Tyrone Thompson, uh, sorry, by Adam Murray and that's a free kick. Yeah, Adam Murray, good captain, good skipper. And Sam Russell to take his free kick, so Dallow used one sub, wouldn't want to, especially if uh, this one goes for extra time later on. Russell. Looking for right, but uh, Naylor is there to nod it out and play for a, a throw in. Brown to take it, short to Campbell. Brown goes down and the uh, ball went off him. That's as the referee and gives Mansfield a throw in. Yeah, Five minutes to half time. Aaron Brown was looking for a free kick there, but it was never going to happen. Throw in taken by Silk. Trying to find. Briscoe on the right hand side, but Briscoe's run it out. But, uh, Connor still looks a little bit unhappy as well. And Brown being pushed back by the referee to take his free kick from a more central point inside the, the Dallow half. The big black scoreboard at Wembley displays Dallow nil, Mansfield nil. The electronic nowadays, of course. Not from the chaps in the white coats putting the numbers up, Kevin, as they did years ago. Yeah, the easier way. <laughs> Ball forward by Spence, but intercepted by Chandler. Now, Harnison to Campbell, trying to get away down the right hand side, but across comes Foster. Does well to stop the ball going out of play as well. Ball forward back now, flicked by Connor looking for Murray, but uh, Hatch was across covering. Concede to throw in. That should be a little bit of a tangle there. Took the times on tangle in there, didn't they? They did. I think they've taken the time <laughs> think as well. There was well, a little Kevin. bit of a love in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've taken the time as well, Kevin, because uh, it is quite hot down there. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget for our listeners, and, 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 and you know, I'm sure that uh, they're all there. Uh, all ears at home listening to our commentary. Uh, it, it's a humid uh, afternoon out there. And it's a big pitch, so there's a lot of strength sapping, a lot of water taking will be going on. And you've got to remember, you've got two fully committed teams out there as well. It's Verma with his first touch, out to Moore on the left-hand side. Looks if like Moore and Campbell have swapped positions now. Moore on the left. 
Moa to Brown and now Verma to Bridge Wilkinson now Chandler to Brown on the left Brown infield to Verma back to Hatch Hatch oh and played a silly ball there to two Connor two. Connor but uh, across comes the cover but what was Hatch doing there and Miller's absolutely and Miller's furious with him and no wonder and uh, rightly so that could have cost the, the, the whole set up that could have been a 1-0 down and this is what I was saying before the game centre forwards are only quick fixes in them positions fair play to him he's done well up to now but it's things like that it only takes the one bit of slackness from a centre forward acting as a centre half to give the gift and he nearly did it then Adam Swift in the corner for Mansfield high deep one towards the, the back post where ball almost goes out and play on the far side but it's kept in by Thompson I think it is so it's been shepherded by Verna who concedes to throw in incidentally there Miller did exceptionally well to retrieve that uh, precarious situation they were put in two versus two coming on to our keeper and Miller did well he got his body across and swept it out for that corner anyway ball in the far corner as uh, Mansfield try to work it into the box and Chandler concedes another corner which is going to be taken by Adam Smith yeah, so we're defending the corner from Mansfield's right side got to be strong resolute commanding comes into the near post and there's a miscue clearance by uh, Verma it was and uh, no wonder Russell complains to Verma and Miller and Miller because uh, it was uh, in the end it was a half out of the 10 by Naylor I think it was that went over the top but uh, again Stopping us, Kevin. It's going yeah, to cost them. It's, it's, that's, that's the worry. Scary moments. Scary moments. And we've got to cut these out, as, as we discussed before. It, you know, we, we came on the area. You were saying whoever you know makes the mistakes will be the one that gets punished. At the moment, I haven't seen a mistake by Mansfield, but I've seen three or four by us. Neil puts the ball out of play for a, a throw-in, and James has some news for us on the touchline again. Yeah, Ray, I don't think Mark Cooper and Richard Dryden have been overly happy with our man Verma's input since he came on. A lot of the, the problems seem to have occurred since Gary Smith went on. Uh, and just before the, the chance for Mansfield came where Liam Hatch almost gifted them a goal, it was Verma's pass back. And even just before that, Verma decided to make a square pass when Darlington had the chance to attack as opposed to go forward. And, and Richard Dryden and Mark Cooper saying to Armand Verma, you know, when you've got the ball, look forward, don't look to the side, look, look into the channels ball on the edge of the Mansfield area clearance by Foster picked up by Bridge Wilkinson to find Arneson on the right Arneson to Bridge Wilkinson into the area but oh, it's over. an intelligent ball in and we're again we're not gambling yeah nobody can, on the end of it you it's can see Ray he's pulling his leg back you know it's not going to be a short pass you know he's lock, lofting it into that box and we stood watching four minutes added on time as Adam Smith picks it up from Mansfield from the corner knockdown, Smith hits it, and it's a save low down at the foot of the sport by Sam Russell, who saw it all the way, a comfortable save for the keeper. Yeah, and uh, Adam Smith is renowned for spectacular goals, and that would have been another one for Mansfield if it uh, had a slipped under or, you know, got in behind uh, Sam Russell, but he covered it well. Now Campbell from the right flick on, Campbell keeping it well, Campbell right foot shot, took oh. a deflection and Marriott does well to stop it going out and play for a corner, deflected off a defender. And I tell you what, that ball nearly fell kindly for Tommy Smith who actually wandered into the box as he hit the, uh, hit the shot just the other side of him and got behind him and uh, squirmed to the keeper. Marriott with a clearance left foot and downfield up for Connor, headed away by Miller, misjudged by Naylor and uh, Tommy Wright tried to get forward to Moore but cleared by Foster then next to Briscoe and Connors almost got round the back but uh, held by Russell yeah. Russell was alert there and Hatchie's having a right go at the linesman saying he was offside I don't think he was but again Sam Russell reading the game well spotting the danger early getting in the right position to challenge for the ball more like a sweeper at times Sam Russell and he does it so well and yet again he did it then nearly at the end of the second minute of added on time Dallow nil Mansfield nil 
half time approach. It could have been a push there by uh, right on Spence. Back from the lines with Wells lucky, Being lucky. Yeah, right keeps on going, but uh, crowded out. But uh, the ball is played only as far as Arneson, who uh, back heels it to Chandler. Chandler left foot the ball towards the far post, hoping that uh, it will fall for Campbell. It won't. Not a doubt of play instead for a throw into Dallow. Brown to take it. Brown. Now Campbell trying to hoist it in the area towards oh, Tommy Wright. Tommy's and, uh, asleep. Who, who asleep. misjudged the bounce and uh, Foster just let the ball run through to Alan Marriott. I just think Tommy can do a little bit more than he's given at the moment. He's not putting enough pressure on Foster. Foster's winning the battle against him. But again, there he's got to make these runs. He's got to gamble. Long clearance down failed, and uh, that ends up in the hands of Sam Russell. The Darlow keeper. You're listening to the FA Trophy final between Darlow and Mansfield on BBC Tees. The non league FA Cup final. Russell downfield, looking for Wright, who was beaten in the air again by Naylor. Then Adam Smith, left hand side to Kyle Nix, who was caught there by Arneson, and the referee awards a free kick when really. He should have allowed advantage because yeah, uh, I think he thought long and hard of it and he decided to blow his whistle. And the reason why I thought he blew his whistle because I thought he was going to boo Carney for that, and yeah. yet he isn't going to do that. Strange one. And uh, the Mansfield captain just having a word with the uh, referee saying, Hey, come on, that's usually a bookable offence. Free kick Mansfield, the dying seconds oh. of the first half. Connor gives chase, cross kick. comes Miller. And uh, the ball was already out. Miller a little bit slow to get back up, man. And uh, he's all right. Dardo skipper. Referee Mr. Atwell. Just got caught a little bit flat there, didn't we? Slide rule pass down the side of our our box. Miller a little bit slow to react, but got there in the end. And there so we there we are, half time. <laughs> KG first 45 minutes, Kevin. It opened up a little bit towards the end, didn't it? Well, yeah, we got a bit of excitement halfway through the first half, a bit of to and fro. And with you know, unfortunately, Chris Moore, you know, took that knock, but he seems to have recovered. He's put some intelligent right foot crosses in the danger zones, but our strikers are not quite at it there. We're a little bit back on our heels. Couple of opportunities if the strikers had gambled across the front of the post, we'd have got there before the keeper. Who knows? We could be looking at 1 0. Again, Hatches give them a gift and they didn't cash in. Miller did extremely well to get across and snuff the danger out and get it away for a corner. Sam Russell's uh, sweeping, as you, shall we say, mm. he's as good with his hands as he is with his feet and he's using them both intelligently and well. So, yeah, we've had a little bit of a, st a stalemate and uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of words being said in that dressing room. Yeah, there been one or two injuries in that first half of Dalot. Chris Moore had, uh, he had that mouth injury, we think it's a gummy do from what uh, James is saying, which affected him for a few minutes, and then lost Gary Smith, so maybe, just maybe, they lost the, the momentum just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, 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 I think you're right. I think that's the exact words I would say. They probably have... Just, just, just come off the curve a little bit due to the fact that uh, Smithy's had to go off early, and he'll be devastated. You know, he's waited all season to get to an opportunity like this, and, and you know, football's a cruel game to some footballers, and, and on this occasion, you know, and I think that is a blow to Darlington and the formation and his his first eleven because obviously he's had to go off and Varma's come on. I always have said right throughout the season that Varma has more to offer. It's there, you see glimpses of it, but my worry now is Varma does disappear in games. It's important, he's there standing tall, and he's counted for the 90-odd minutes. Now James is uh, down there next to the dugouts, and he'll have one or two snippets for us, no doubt. Hi there, uh, yes, uh, I think I've discovered Darlington's secret weapon. Uh, I'm sitting just a few rows above the dugouts, and sitting in the dugouts is Mark Cooper's father, Terry, who, of course, you remember, played for uh, Middlesbrough and Leeds and uh, had a, a bit of managerial experience as well with, with Exeter and, and Birmingham and Bristol City, I think he managed to. He, he, nearly, he nearly signed me. <laughs> <laughs> he signed Alan Walsh instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure he's still regretting that, Kevin, for the rest of his life. But he... Um, uh, 
the the point is, is, is Richard Dryden occasionally does turn around to Terry Cooper and say, what do you think of that? And it's like he's taken on just an, an unofficial role as football consultant this afternoon. Now, I think it, it's, it's his experience which, which could prove vital. Uh, Gary Smith, I do agree with the guys there, just saying that Gary Smith, I think, was a loss when he went off the momentum disrupted. I think Armand Verma, it takes him to get a, a little bit into the game as well. Uh, but I think Liam Hatch has done magnificently at the back. That mistake apart, of course, but perhaps we can forgive him for that, given that he is a, a striker. Uh, but I think Paul Connor is a concern for Mansfield. He'll be looked at at half-time. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he gets uh, gets changed at half-time. And obviously Chris Moore, I think he'll be looked at at half-time as well. But certainly for the first half, Mark Cooper's been a little bit restless. He's been to the edge of his technical area, then he's been back to sit down, then he gets up again. And uh, I don't think he'll be dissatisfied with that half, but I think I think he'll have a few things to say as well. James, how hot is it down there at the touchline? I mean, we're in the shade of the main stand where it's quite cool, but what's, what's, what's it like down there? Is it quite humid? Well, the first half started off really quite hot. The sun did come out for a while, uh, and it really was quite baking hot just sitting here. So what it's like for players running around, who knows? It's, it is quite close, shall we say, down here on the touchline. They said it was going to be 23 degrees today. I'm not sure if it's quite that, but it, certainly when you're running around, it'll, uh, that along with the Wembley pitch will we'll take it out of them quite a bit. But I think they'll be grateful for just a little bit of cloud cover. The sprayers are now on the pitch as well, just to rehydrate the, uh, the pitch. And, of course, they've got an FA Vars final here as well, FA Cup next week, Champions League final. So <laughs> it's, it's in their interest to look after the Wembley pitch a little bit. So uh, uh, perhaps a few less of, uh, of Gary Smith's tackles, they'll be glad he's gone off. I'll tell you what, Kevin, when you consider the the flack that the, the, the pitch got uh, last season and the, the season before, and it was dug up, relayed, dug up, relayed. Yeah, a lot of money spent. Come on, it's like a... Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Nothing I'm, wrong with it whatsoever. I might just go down there to roll in my suit on that grass lane. It looks so inviting. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, perish the thought. <laughs> but let's be honest, let's be optimistic. Dalo can do something with this game can't they they can but I just feel that, that as I've already mentioned st the, the two strikers got to get a little bit sharper and tune in a little bit more get the midfield a little bit closer gaps have appeared where Mansfield have managed to get through there and put a bit of pressure and if we cut out the mistakes at the back obviously Hatchie's big bloomer we got away with but let's let's hope that's the only one so there we are then half time here at Wembley Stadium the form of football 42nd FA Trophy final, half time. It's Dal or nil, Mansfield nil.
doesn't have any money in his wallet then because he didn't have any when he didn't sign me when he was at Bristol City. <laughs> he signed Alan Walsh instead, didn't he? Yeah, for 15,000 yeah. pounds. 18, I think. 18. Yeah. What a snip. He was. Anyway, the referee starts the second half. No more substitutions made. Yeah, I'm sure both managers will have been busy in that dressing room at half time when they get the players sat back down and rested. And I'm sure that uh, Coops and uh, his assistant will have tweaked a few uh, screws and reminded certain players of the duties and responsibilities. Because there is some things that go on out there that, uh, as a manager, you're not happy with. And uh, thankfully, he's got them in there and hopefully he's, uh, he's sorted it out. Now Aaron Brown wins a, a throw in for Darlow on this left-hand side. Chandler over to the to the right to Arneson. Arneson forward to Bridge Wilkinson. Bridge Wilkinson now. Out to the right again. Arneson into the middle, looking for right, but it's headed away and cleared by Mansfield. Only as far as the halfway line because Chandler wins it back. Now Moore on the right hand side in field to Bridge Wilkinson. Arneson's made a good run down the outside right channel, low one into the middle, but it's easily held by the keeper Marriott who rolls it out to the left. Yeah, it was a good overlap run by Arneson there, just to shame it when he got to his destination. The quality wasn't there to finish it off. Now here's danger though because here's Thompson free kick uh, for a foul by Chandler on Nixon the centre circle says the referee yeah Chandler's snapping at the ankles quickly out to him didn't so give him any time on the ball and again he's in very sharp it's nice to see it's needed we can't allow them to settle on the ball and Chandler's leading by example there Chandler put the ball out play good challenge on Murray Throw into Mansfield. Silk on the right, but uh, he stopped and the ball played off field by Verma. Now Silk again, forward, looking for Murray. Now Briscoe, but cleared by Brown. And a uh, foul by Naylor on right. Bundles him over from behind. Free yeah. kick. Right, had nowhere to go, there was a cluster of players, he went to pass it and then he stopped himself because it was going to go to a Mansfield player and he ended up falling over and getting the free kick. Taken by Brown, but too far for Arneson, who uh, uh, was ventured up. I just wish we'd create a bit more from a dead ball situation, it's just a wasteful long ball and we know, and they must be aware, because they stood on it, they know that the sprinklers have been back on at half-time, so they know it's going to be quick and pacey and zip off the ground, and that was a typical example of not what to do. Yeah, and Arneson made uh, a 60-yard run from the halfway line, trying to get on the end of it, then another 60-yard run to get back uh, in position, and now here's Mansfield, trying to make ground down the right, but... Uh, Briscoe is challenged by Chandler and again come play by Chandler, yeah. breaking it up. Yeah, I just wish a few would see what he's doing and join him. Throwing to Dalot, Brown with it. Half cleared, Verma gets it well, almost forward. Miller eventually forced it to Arneson. Arneson trying to, to get Moore away, but uh, covering behind him is Bridge Wilkinson. And now Moore on the right-hand side. Moore. Moore trying to trick his way past. Lays it back to Arneson. Arneson, low ball in the middle. Cleared. Only as far as Chandler. Bridge Wilkinson to Brown on this left-hand side. Brown trying to dribble his way past. Brown lays it back towards Verma and Bridge Wilkinson. And Bridge Wilkinson is challenged. Verma still keeps it alive to Arneson on the right. Now Moore. Moore in field for Verma. Verma, back to Moore. Now, Bridge Wilkinson into the oh. box, but uh, it's behind right and cleared. Good patient play by Darlington. Brown, though, left foot of ball. Two players slipped in the box there as they went for it. But, uh, and still, the ball isn't clear by Mansfield, and Tommy Wright nearly made something of it. 
before the ball was hooked into touch by the right back still. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the mental thing for the players is they're kicking into the Darlington end now, so it might give them that extra lift. Brown's, Brown's ball into the area is cleared. Hatch can't keep it in. Concedes a throw in. Yeah, I mean, we, we found out uh, at half time that the twisted knee was what uh, Smith went off with. And uh, I think it's uh, Chris Miller should be moving a little bit quicker because he's lost two teeth, so he's lightened his load as he's running along. Should be an extra yard in that. James will have some uh, words for the touchline for us. Yeah, I think uh, Duncan Russell, the uh, Mansfield manager, is quite concerned about how his side has started the second period. He's just marched out to his uh, the edge of his technical area, just balling out up to his defence just to calm down. Uh, Darlow very much have the ascendancy and the noise on the touchline level that you heard from the Darlington fans when they were going forward then uh, was fantastic and, and the message that will send to the players will be, will be brilliant. So the more of that, the better. Hatch plays the ball off the advance and Silk for a goal kick to Darlow away to our right-hand side. And Alan Marriott, the Mansfield keeper, grabs hold of the ball. And just touching on the Darlington supporters, that might just help them mentally and give them the edge. Marriott with this goal kick up the right hand side. Headed away though by Foster, and now there's a break on Connor being shadowed though by Hatch. Connor steps inside, Chandler slips. It's been uh, watered again at half time. Now, Adam Smith on the left-hand side, trying to work his way in low shot into the side net, but uh, Russell had covered all the way, ball out of play for a goal kick. Yeah, first positive attack from Mansfield, ended up on a shot from a guy who can pull them out of the hat. Spectacular goals he scores, hopefully not today, but he loves to cut inside on his uh, under his right foot from the left flank. And he's not afraid of pulling the trigger. Now, long clearance down field, and uh, Verma's done well to, to win that back, and uh, Dallow claiming a, a high foot on Verma. Referee says play on. Brown tried to play that one forward towards uh, Campbell, but Briscoe headed it into touch. Brown with a throw in for Dallow. Dallow trying to pick up this loose ball, it's, uh, Tommy Wright pokes it into touch for another throw into Mansfield. Midway inside the Mansfield half, away to our left-hand side. Nil-nil, and we're seven minutes into the second half, here at Wembley, the FA Trophy final. And the sun breaks out onto the pitch. Long shadows appear behind the players as the sun's breaking through. Let's hope Mansfield have got long faces at the end of this game. Let's hope Dallow can come on strong as Murray appealed to foul Hatch there. I now, think... danger, but uh, Hatch had got back into position. Yeah, Miller just got nudged off the ball a little bit too easy, but yet again recovered, got himself back and uh, got the ball off the uh, Mansfield players' foot and got it cleared for a throw. On the far side, being taken by the left back Spence. Infield for Adam Smith. Spence has made a run there and is danger. Ball into the centre though for Murray. Murray's been forced away from goal. Good uh, defended by Dallow there. Yeah, they're getting behind the ball, aren't they? Getting in the faces of Mansfield, making them go backwards. Every time there's a pass. Now Brown challenging Briscoe. Briscoe's got through though. Briscoe left foot shot and it's oh. deflected over the top by Connor. It's uh, that's oh, Briscoe's what, danger. What a let off that is for Darlington. I mean, great play by Briscoe, but Aaron Brown's got to be strong. He's got to stay with him. He's got to tag him. He's got to stay with him. And he gets nudged off too easily. Slips inside. I think it was a. Of Varma, was it? Yeah. And no, John Campbell, I think it was, he got in front of. And luckily, as he fizzed that ball in the box, the Mansfield player got connection on it, but it just got a yard over the bar, could have went anywhere. Thankfully, over the bar it went. A let-off for Darlington. Now, can Dallow pick it up in midfield? Chandler with it. Chandler to Verma. 
more tempo about the game now. Chandler again. Brown, high one into the area. Look for Tommy Wright, but clear by the left back. Spence, now Bridge Wilkinson to Arneson. Now Moore. Arneson again. Back to Bridge Wilkinson. And Arneson on that right touchline. Bridge Wilkinson. Chips it high. Can Campbell control it? Or Verma? No, they can't. It uh, goes out of play for a throw in. James is on the touchline. Yeah, I think that would have been a goal, actually. Ironically, had Paul Connor not have intercepted it, he went in with the right intentions, Connor. It ended up going over the bar, but Briscoe had a shot from the right. And from where I'm sitting, I'm directly in line from where that shot was taken. And that was going in, and Connor intercepted and put it over the bar. You notice that Mark Cooper, I think, at half time has really instructed his players to push forward because most of the time, Bridge Wilkinson and Chandler are actually further back than the fullbacks. Brown and Arneson, and you really get the, in the impression that when they attack, he said, go and push on, and let's, instead of thinking we cannot concede, let's think we can score, and realise it is a cup tie today. Anyway, free it's a, kicks it's a great mentality to have, but we've got to be careful on the counter. Now, Aaron Brown with a free kick for Darlow. Darlow fans getting behind their team. Darlow attacking from right to left. This is where they're dangerous from set pieces. Hatches up there. Miller's in there. Brown towards the back post, but too far for Miller. And Marriott is able to grab it and release it quickly to Murray. Arneson right behind him, though. Arneson does well to win it. Murray uh, tackled back, and uh, Arneson withstood him. Now. Campbell trying to get away from his goal, goal. and he does, Campbell keeps on going, Tommy Wright inside him, oh, and the defender got back, it was Foster who took it off Tommy Wright's toes, and the ball goes out of play for a corner. Yeah, I mean, it was one of them situations, he didn't have a choice, he couldn't hit it first time, Ray, it was just a drag in front of him, but not far enough with pace, he's forced to take a touch, and as he's took that touch, defenders whipped it away, a let off for Mansfield. Bridge Wilkinson with a corner for Darlow. Right footed into the six. Oh, it was oh. a free header. Oh, a free header. It was Ian Miller coming in. Oh. And well, might he put his hands on his head because that was a free header 10 yards out. Well, that was the golden egg that could have killed the goose. And he had the opportunity, Ian Miller. All he had to do was keep his eyes open. He had a free header. No one within three yards of him bearing down on a, on what, 12 yards? And he's missed the target massively, massively. What a let off, I mean, but it's warming up nicely, Ray. About time, too, man. There's uh, no, here's Smith for Mansfield trying to work his way into the area with his left foot across, travels harmlessly over the bar for yeah. a goal kick. Just, to going, just going back to the incident before uh, Miller's header miss there. Great counter attack by Darlington, very swift, very precise, and just unfortunately, that final ball to Miller's feet. Just wasn't the best one, and we missed the opportunity. Sam Russell with a goal kick for Darlow. We'll be going over to the valley soon when we get a chance. Harley Poole away to Charlton. It's uh, Mansell trying to get this ball forward. Hatch defending well from Murray, gets it away. Brown hooks it off field. Tommy Wright gives chase. Foster comes across. Foster with a defensive header. Campbell trying to get on the end of it. We'll clear downfield by Silk. As far as Murray ball flicked on towards Connor, he's offside. That gives us a chance to go down to the valley. Speak to Ivan. No goals here, but since half time, we've had some good stuff. Wright Phillips has cut inside, tested Flinders, pushed the ball over the, the bar from the corner. Benson got in a fierce header, which Flinders down left and pushed the ball away. Then Larkin got a good cross in, Monk has just been to the far post. And then the highlight for Pools, a couple of corners, it came to Sam Collins. He's back to goal. What a deft turn, a flick of his foot. The ball against the underside of the crossbar bounces away to safety. James Brown has just replaced Jan Turno. It's still Charlton nil, Hartlepool United nil. Thanks, Ivan. Free kick to Mansfield, which is taken quickly. Ball over towards the left-hand side. So uh, not many people in the middle at the moment. They're arriving slowly, but uh, one of them is uh, Smith. But, uh, ball blocked and Hatch stops the corner. Good solid clearance out of play. Suddenly, Kevin, it's well and truly opening out. Yeah, I mean we had a situation where Mansfield had four men in the box at one stage there, but Hatch was the first one to it. 
And put a blinding good centre half's clearance in there. Got his foot behind the ball and got it up that path. Throw in to Mansfield. Halfway inside the Dallow half. Deep one towards the corner to, to Murray. Two to aim for in the middle once they, they work the ball back to Mills and now Thompson. It's all the way back to the halfway line now with Naylor and Foster. Foster chips it forward, but Chandler is there to, to get it away. And Foster, for safety, nods the ball all the way back to its goalkeeper, Marriott. Marriott right footed downfield. And uh, there's a flag off for offside against uh, Connor. He came back from an offside position. Linesman straight away had his flag up to give Dalot a free kick. 15 minutes gone, second half. Dalot nil, Mansfield nil. But you get the feeling that there might be a goal soon. Hopefully, in the end, away to our left hand side. Right with the header. Foster, though, back to his goalkeeper. Dalot. It's only their second season in this competition. Last time they were in it was 89-90. Lost to League Town in that yeah, uh, quarter-final. Somehow. Somehow, says Kevin. It's a big shock that day. League went on to the final to uh, lose to Barrow. James on the touchline. Yeah, I think Mark Cooper getting a little bit more anxious, although maybe it's his style to stand on the edge of his technical area during the second half and just give the players the idea of a bit of his presence. But uh, I think he's a bit anxious. Mansfield having another wave of an attack now. Murray to Briscoe on the right-hand side. Briscoe infield to Murray. Murray had a half chance to have a pop there. Connor trying to turn. Good save by Russell. Low down on his uh, left-hand side. Good turn by Connor. And good save by Russell. Yeah, and I've said it all season, we've got the best keeper in this division by far, a country mile. And I tell you what, <coughs> bad defending by us there. Ian Miller hasn't got close enough to his man. He's allowed him in 16-yard area to turn. You don't, you guide them out, you get them out of there. And he's allowed him to turn and get a shot in. Thankfully, it's Russell between the sticks. Arneson forward now for Dallow, trying to get Bridge Wilkinson into it. Or Moore, but... Uh, Clear by Foster. See how much uh, that chance has lifted Mansfield. Chandler wins it in the centre circle. Finds Arneson. Chandler's had an excellent game today. Arneson up the right, but uh, Moore's read it wrongly. Tommy Wright's given chase, but it's gone out of play for a goal kick yeah. away to our left. I just feel we're struggling at the moment to make use of the ball a lot better. Mansfield have the edge on us in, in, in creating and keeping retainership of the ball. We're getting the ball and we're hit, starting to hit, hit it one too many long balls, Ray, and they've run out for goal kicks or for throw-ins. Just don't be so wasteful, it could cost. The ball off field, headed away by Miller. Campbell trying to turn his man on the halfway line, but loses out. Briscoe to the right-back, Silk, and now Murray. Murray suddenly got a bit more life about him. Murray left foot a ball in the area, took a deflection, headed away by Hatch. Murray back in again, but too far. Russell keeps it in. Decides to roll the ball to the edge of his area. Yeah, a little bit disturbing the fact that the captain for Mansfield is Adam Murray and he's just starting to put a little bit more influence in the game than you want to see. Got to get near him, snuff him out. He's more or less playing up front to a degree. But yeah, using a 4 4 1 1 formation, so we were told it looks well, more like 4 uh, 4 4 2. Doesn't it? Yeah, and at times you've got uh, who is it this side? Is it uh, Connor, Connor, Connor on this side? Yeah. It, it's linking up to a three man attack at times. Yeah, it's uh, Briscoe, it's the danger man behind them. Briscoe virtually got them to Wembley, scoring at Luton in the last minute of extra time, missed a penalty followed up and scored from the rebound I mean how cool can that be Wright trying to get through for Dalo it's uh, Wright not getting much change out of that back two at the moment and uh, loose clearance by Dan Spence the left back of Mansfield goes straight into touch on that far side nil nil still here at Wembley Stadium FA Trophy final Darlington against Mansfield. Chandler now for 
Dowler. Inside for Verma, and now Brown on the left. Brown, good cross towards the far side, header by right. Campbell trying to get into it, but uh, the keeper, Marriott, grabs it. And the chance goes. Yeah, just a little bit overhit for um, Tommy Wright, having to really stretch back pedalling and heading it up in the air, and it was always going to be a keeper's ball after that. I just feel we're just, just lacking a little bit of creativity again, really. You know, we've just lost our way a little bit. Mark Cooper swapping. Where's Richard Wright and his pace and up and down? There's a, there's a trench developing down there where he's <laughs> been walking. It's just about. Now Dowdo trying to book Mansfield under pressure. Succeeding, they're pushing them back and pushing them back, but uh, Mansfield get out of trouble well. And in midfield is Thompson. Pooh ball out to the right, which helps Dowdo. Briscoe had to stretch to keep it in, and uh, he only succeeded in giving it to Brown. Back to Russell. And now Brown again. Brown, upfield, headed away though by Spence. Verma tried to get it up to, to Bridge Wilkinson, who won it back well. Verma to Arneson. Arneson looking for Bridge Wilkinson, who was uh, fouled from behind but by Foster. The referee waves play on. Foster even acknowledged it to the referee. Bridge Wilkinson again upon his feet. Spreads the ball out to the left-hand side for Campbell. Campbell to Brown. Brown to Campbell. Campbell being forced away, but to infield to Chandler. Chandler out to the right to Arneson again. Arneson to Moore. Arneson making a run into the box, and uh, Campbell tried to help it on, and uh, maybe he shouldn't have got in the way. Maybe he should have let it run for Arneson. Yeah, and I think Arneson's, uh, Arneson turned there and waved at the crowd, come on, let's get some noise. Yeah, but I mean, in the passage of play we had, we had some great passing and a little bit of uh, keep ball by Darton there, but Chandler had an opportunity, he received the ball with plenty of space, and he immediately looks to his right, he never looked into the heart of the box to see if he can feed it into a striker. That should be his first look, that should be his first intention, but it isn't at the moment. He's receiving balls under no pressure, and he's looking wide straight away. Dallow with a free kick. For a foul on Bridge Wilkinson, and Aaron Brown goes across to take it. The big lads are up. Ian Muller is there. Liam Hatch. Tommy Wright. All we need is one moment of quality. Can this be One it? good delivery. We've seen Brown deliver these quite well this season. Yeah, uh, get some pace on them. Just doesn't want to overhit it. Two-man wall being pushed back by the referee, Stuart Atwell. 23 minutes gone, second half. Brown, free kick into the area, goes beyond everybody and cleared by uh, Spence. Comes out for Chandler. Chandler to Arneson. Arneson out to the right-hand side. Looking for Verma, but uh, Dallo get it back and then carelessly given away by Hatch. Yeah, sloppy but, uh, ball by Mansfield, Hatch. Mansfield had everybody back though, so uh, Thompson couldn't make anything of it. Now Murray, out to the right-hand side to Briscoe, who went close early on in that second half. Back to Murray again. Murray doesn't have many to aim for, he's only got Connor and Briscoe ahead of him, so he's, yeah. got, a, he's got a developed player. Nicks uh, to Connor, but Connor gives it away to Miller, who puts it into touch for a throw-in. It worries me a little because as we get tired and as the game drags on, I just feel we need to be tighter in our centre-halves, getting closer to the likes of Connor and Briscoe. I just feel we've given them a little bit too much room for my liking. Now, Firma to right. Now, Bridge Wilkinson. Arneson again available on that right-hand side. Good ball by Bridge Wilkinson to find him. Arneson, what was a far post, but too far for Tommy Wright. It just needed a good cross there, Kevin, because yeah. Tommy Wright was in space. And you're looking at Cooper at the uh, the dugout there, and he's deflated out of one of the most reliable, probably, crosses of the ball. You expect Arnie to put it in there. A little bit of slackness, and he's just overcooked it, and it's gone out for a goal kick. Great opportunity there. James on the touchline, how's that trench development under Mark Cooper? 
back uh, at the moment. Uh, Mark Cooper's Kevin Dead is uh, really frustrated, I think, with, with that effort by Paul Arneson. But at least Arneson is pushing forward now. That's what Cooper wants him uh, and also Aaron Brown to do more of. Uh, at the moment, we've got Chris Senior, Paul Terry and Phil Gray uh, warming up. And also uh, Cooper just giving Sam Russell some instructions instead of just to punt it forwards down the pitch to try and punt it in towards the channels and, and look left and right. Thanks, James. Chris Senior warming up. Possibility to come on the left hand left hand side instead of Campbell, maybe. Yeah, I think it's looking that way. Hatch heads the ball away into midfield up to Nix. And uh, Foster being put under pressure by Moore. Moore seems alright now. He's lost two teeth though in that first half challenge. Now Nix to Connor. Connors managed to keep going, now Foster running forward. Foster surging forward, he did this for Darlow before, but uh, blocked by Bridge Wilkinson. Ball comes out to the left-back, Spence. Thompson, Naylor to Briscoe. Brown right up against him straight away. Played by Campbell, that's all he could do, just thumps it into the opposing half. All the way through to Alan Marriott, the Mansfield keeper. Still nil-nil, 26 minutes gone in the second half. We're into the one-goal wins it territory. Yeah, we are indeed, really. there's no doubt about that. One goal should just about do it. Let's just hope it's down Fingers all again. Crossed, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's black and white that we're cheering, let's hope for it. Now Arneson on the right-hand side to, to Bridge Wilkinson, but uh, it's all wasted and it goes through to... Marriott and uh, we're going to have a substitution James will tell us more about it yeah Chris Senior is about to come on not too sure who for but uh, Chris Senior definitely the man about to come on uh, perhaps a, a, an attacking uh, substitution maybe the likes of Jamie Chandler or even Mark Bridge Wilkinson would come off or, or maybe it's a like for like substitution with with Chris Moore Tommy Wright or even John Campbell looking to uh, to come off yeah, I think we're looking more likely at the fact that maybe Campbell who maybe comes Campbell off on the left hand side and uh, Maybe you've seen your speed to get uh, around the back of a tyre in defence as uh, Miller stops Briscoe from bursting through and by rolling the ball back to Sam Russell. 27 minutes gone, second half. Now, we're going to have the substitution. John Campbell, who was playing for Newcastle, Benfield, not so long ago. Danny Gate and Cole from Newcastle Benfield were quite proud of the other night when I spoke to them in the Northern League Cup final, which Benfield won with 10 men by three goals to one. It's uh, Odalo have some defender to do. Murray trying to set it up on the edge of the area. The ball chipped in towards Connor and goes high over his head straight through to Russell. Connor looks out and his feet just kept going well. Former Millsbury junior. Yeah, to be fair to the lad, he has. He's hung in there when we thought it was a definite shout. He wouldn't be coming back out, or if he was, he wouldn't be here on the pitch long. Russell up the right-hand side, looking for Arneson, who was tripped, but nevertheless the ball still gets through to, to Moore. Moore trying to run at the defence, but uh, two defenders between them carried away as far as Brown. Brown dinks it along the line to Campbell. Now Brown again. Now Verma, Verma steps inside one challenge and chips the ball. Oh, tried yeah. to chip it over to the right towards Arneson, but it was behind Arneson, and Arneson's doing really well to keep it in, running uh, 10, 20 yards back. Now Bridge Wilson along the ground to the edge of the area to Tommy Wright. The shot comes in from uh, Verma, and yeah. it goes over the top, and we can go over to the valley. And Ivan. And still no goals since you were last here. Lira from a corner got a, a shot in and Flinders make a remarkable reaction save. That's three very good saves he's made in this half. Still no goals. And don't forget Sam Collins with a deft turn just inside the penalty area. Clipped a shot against the underside of the crossbar. But let's not forget early on Dwight Phillips did exactly the same for Charlton. But with 26 minutes gone as the corner comes in for Hartlepool, the ball is knotted down. A shot from the edge of the box comes in. A fierce shot. It's blocked. They want a penalty. It will be cleared eventually. My goodness, close for Hartlepool's, but still Charlton nil, Hartlepool United nil. Substitution made by Darlow back here at Wembley. John Campbell off and uh, Chris Senior on. 
which is what we expected, Kevin. Yeah, it was a nap that was going to happen. Um, you know, I think the uh, the way the Dartman playing, the way the game is, it wasn't suiting Campbell. We weren't getting balls into him to run it. Here's a chance though for Mansfield, but uh, the ball pulled wide by Briscoe. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, we weren't getting uh, the balls into Campbell often enough, and and you know, letting him uh, do his tricks, get onto the ball. The game started to pass him by Ray, and I think you know, obviously the management have spotted that and, and, and acted accordingly and rightly. Goal kick to Darlow, Russell with it. Goes over right, said now Cena gets his first touch. Ball prodded out and played by the right back Silk. You wonder about Mansfield's legs now. Brown with a throw to Senior. Well, the, the thing that's in my mind, and, and hopefully it's not in the players' minds, is the, the fact that we uh, are very adept at uh, conceding late goals. I know. Silk there slid in against Senior and uh, hobbled a little bit, almost as if he's got cramp. 75 and a half minutes gone. Brown with a long throw for Darlow. Into the area, into the front post, headed away though by Foster. Verma gets it back in, Senior trying to get on the end of it. Verma again across the face! Oh. But oh! It went in between two Darlow players and uh, well, in, Mansfield got away with it. In this game, Ray, that's the best contribution Verma's done, unfortunately, you know, thankfully. He fizzed a gloriously powerful ball across the face of Mansfield's uh, goal area and not one Darlington player could get his foot on the end of it. A good let-off for Mansfield there, encouraging for us. The ball was saying, tap me in, tap me in. <laughs> Brown to right, oh, just trying to play awesome. reverse pass towards Senior. It was Button Silk under pressure and got it back. And uh, scoopily beat the full-back, now Senior with a chance. Tried to pull it across, the keeper fumbled it, but uh, Tommy Wright still couldn't get on the end of it. But good play by Senior, uh, Silk struggling. Senior's actually saying to his full to the full-back, he's goading him, he's saying, here, this is where you are, in my pocket. Very dangerous verbals, you can, <laughs> you can fall down badly with them if the, if the uh, full-back decides, well, you're having a bit, so... But well done. Promising, promising for Darlow. Nil-nil still, 13 minutes left. Miller goes high against Connor. the ball flicked on though to Murray, but uh, Hatch gets it away. Now Arneson, Arneson chips it forward, looking for right, headed away by Foster. Arneson gets it back off Adam Smith. Now Bridge Wilkinson up the right-hand side, but uh, too far out of play for a, a throw into Mansfield. James is on the touchline. It's nervy down here, I tell you, and there's a lot of tension, I think, in the fans. Uh, everyone's gone a little bit quiet, looking at the clock counting down. We've got, uh, what, just a, a little less than uh, 13 minutes to go, as you just said, Ray. Uh, and Mark Cooper, I think, uh, when that chance came in, uh, Chris Senior, he did brilliantly by the corner flag, didn't he, to take it away from the defender. Uh, and that, he just said to Richard Dryden, Mark Cooper, that, that cross was just a bit too near the keeper. If it would have been a, a, a more of a, a wider angle, who knows, the attacker could have gone on the end of it. Now, Murray for Mansfield, the blue and yellow stripes to Briscoe. Again, but, uh, fouled by Senior, at least he thought he'd fouled him, and uh, yeah. instead it's a throw in. Got away, Got away with it. With it. He caught his back foot. Throw in to Mansfield. Briscoe for Connor, who fouls Brown, says the linesman. Yeah, very generous decision by the linesman, we'll take it, Ray. Relieves the pressure straight away for us. And we've got 11 and a half minutes left. There will be extra time if it's level on 90 minutes. Well, we're certainly in the killing zone area of time now. If it's a draw after extra time, we're going to a shootout. The last time Dalo played Mansfield in a cup competition, Dalo lost on penalties. Let's hope he doesn't get that far. Let's hope it's settled before then in Dalo's favour. Uh, it still comes away with it, now Murray looking for support, it's not very much. Now, Connor edge in the area, Murray again, trying to bring Briscoe into play. Murray chips it forward, plenty of Dalo players back, Miller clearance, uh, party clear comes back for Murray. It's, uh, he holds off Chandler, it's, uh, it's all a bit crowded on the edge of the area, Briscoe picks it up. Briscoe the danger man, Briscoe driven his way through, miss hits it. 
miscued it completely. Senior to Brown. Legs just down the ball now, Kevin. Yeah, you, know, you, you can sense it now. Worry Mansfield balls. are down at the moment, you can see it. Ball forward by Brown, look of a senior. Keeper comes out with his area to hack it clear. Brown heads it inside to Chandler. One last effort from Darlow to try and finish it in 90 minutes. Obama concedes the foul in our right side attacking. The free kick taken quickly. Darlow can get back and cover and they do. Great challenge by Verma. On the uh, Nicks, I think it was. Verma up the left hand side. Tom Wright has to give chase. Keeper comes out with his goal again, Marriott. Butts it into touch for a, yeah. a throw in. We may have tired legs out there, but let's hope we don't have tired minds. That's the important part. As long as the brain stays sharp, we'll get through this. I just feel at times we just stand off when they're attacking. We just stand off and let them pick the pass. Very dangerous game to play. We've got to be putting pressure under that ball. Adam Smith forward to Connor, but uh, Connor miscues it badly. Put it straight out of play for a Darlow throw. This is where Darlow need to capitalise. One or two Mansfield heads just start to go down. Yeah, and you're just looking around and uh, there's a lot of tired bodies out there. You've just seen Aaron Brown with his hands on his hips. He's a big lad, he needs that oxygen in that frame of his. Now Verma heads the ball forward to right. So Verma's got to come into the game now. Right, try to get it away to Arneson on the right and uh, giving it to Smith. Uh, Mark Cooper throws a water bottle away down below. Smith running four, he's got two up with him. He's got Murray, Smith keeps on going. Smith, edge of the area, he's getting crowded out. Darlow have bodies back, Nicks, edge of the box, looking for Briscoe, Brown gets it away. Yeah, good defending, oh. good defending, but uh, we'd rather not see it like this. Verma running forward now. Verma, for Darlow, waiting for support. But going backwards. And uh, in the end, he gave a very loose ball away, uh, and he was hit, he got a cheap free uh, kick. Uh, got a very cheap free kick there for a late challenge by Mas Murray. I think the master of skipper might get a book in here for his verbal. James on the touchline. Yeah, Mark Cooper incredibly frustrated at how Darlow gave the ball away. Then I think they were they were very lucky. And again, Arman Verma, even though they did want a free kick eventually, he gave the, the ball away again. So I think Mark Cooper, as Kevin was just saying, really is, is saying stay with it. You know, we, we've got less than 10 minutes to go now, less than eight minutes to go of normal time. Uh, and Darlow need to stay with it. They do have a, a, a free kick now in a promising position. And this is where they need the fans to get behind them as well, to suck that ball into the goal. Eight minutes left. Nil nil, free kick Dallow, Brown on the halfway line, left footed forward towards the edge of the penalty area, headed away though by Nix. Chandler trying to get it back off Murray. Murray turning. Verma poked the ball forward though and it goes all the way through to Marriott, the keeper. Yeah, Seven and a half minutes left. I just feel the likes of Tommy Wright, the game's passing him by in this half. His contribution hasn't been a lot. Challenges have not been there, balls passing him by. Firmer forward, right slides in, but Foster beats him to it, and uh, referee didn't like uh, the challenge. Free kicks quick to take, and Murray trying to get uh, Connor in behind, but uh, stopped by Miller. Russell off field, headed away again, or by Naylor. Briscoe on the right hand side, a late challenge by Verma on Thompson to concede a free kick. Yeah, a little bit of tiredness, sloppy little niggly fouls now that are, you know, giving away advantage. Six and a half minutes left. Dallow nil, Mansfield nil. A tense game here at Wembley Stadium. The final of the FA Trophy. You listen to BBC T's, we've been with Dallow all the way. From the night when it was 432, watch them beat Tamworth. Ball over to the left-hand side for Mansfield. Referee spots a foul at that far post and gives Darlow a free kick. Yeah. That gives us a chance to go over to the valley and speak to Ivan. Still no goals. Flinders has made another miraculous save. A Bessoni thunderball from just inside the penalty area. Flinders pushing it onto the bar. Brown has just gone close. A deflected shot. Remember, Collins is in the underside of the bar. Flinders has made half a dozen good saves. Another corner comes across. Monkhouse heads it just over the bar. Ten minutes to go. Charlton nil. Hartlepool United nil. Goal kick taken by Russell. Headed out of play by Mansfield for a throw in on the far side. Five and a half minutes left. Dallow nil. 
Mansfield nil. Tommy Wright to make a mess of the throw in, put it out of play. Yeah, unfortunately, Tommy's having a bad second half. Spence with the throw, downfield by Nix. Now Murray. Murray trying to work the ball into the box. Doesn't have much support, and Dallo crowd him out. Arneson it is, Arneson's been my man of the match today, I don't know about you, Kevin. He's uh, done well there. Well, I think Chandler's done a good job as well, protecting his Chandler, back four. Yeah. Now, oh, and uh, Cena nearly got away, Silk and goes Silk down. Cramp. Silk struggling with Cram. Brown with a throw-in. Yeah, to sorry, Mr Silk, but long may continue. Senior. And that's got to be a foul. Yeah, Neil, no. Neil had knocked him off the ball almost, but... Uh, it's only two hands, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, it's a goal kick to Dal uh, to Mansfield. Yeah. Four and a half minutes left. And Cooper, just as I was thinking, is telling his two strikers, get closer together, work as a pair. You're too stretched. Marriott is actually moving the uh, bridge across. Yeah, he doesn't have many more forward options unless he decides to move Hatcher front. Well, I'm just looking at the bench, there's probably only one substitution you'd make, and I think that would be involve an injury, and it's, it's Terry for another midfielder. Yeah. Other than that, you know, no disrespect to Phil Gray and Dan Zelsin, Louis Hamilton, but uh, it's the only one I could possibly see happening. Anyway, Dalo Frey kicked just inside their own half. Come on, guys. Harnison with it. Three and a half minutes left. Harnison chips it into the box up for Tommy Wright, who couldn't quite get a touch in it. He created the space for himself. It just isn't happening for Tommy. And ball goes out of play for a goal kick. Just isn't happening for him, unfortunately. James on the bench. Well, at the moment, the uh, Wembley organisers seem to think there's going to be a winner because the, uh, like a, I suppose it's a, a barrier almost is being formed uh, where the players will go up to the Royal Box. So uh, they're certainly expecting a winner, but uh, it could well go to extra time. Uh, Paul Arneson's been suffering with cramp, uh, and as uh, Chris Moore, he's come over to the left-hand side. I think Mark Bridge Wilkinson as well is being asked to take a more attacking role as we go into the final few moments. Here's Mansfield, ball into the Dallow area. Thompson being forced away from goal, though. Thompson being forced even further away, and uh, good chance comes in from Burma. Now, now we've got a three on break. two situation now, with Dalo. Burma needs to get through, but he stumbles and, and he gets uh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, He's got a free kick. The referee was waiting for a banting. He thought the bridge Wilson will pick it up. Yeah, Mansfield players aren't happy with that, but it's a correct decision, unfortunately, for them. Chandler, free kick to Arneson. Arneson suffering from cramp. Oh, you wouldn't have thought so the way he's been playing. Now Moore on the right hand side. Moore getting inside but uh, overrun it. Cramp must be in his right Cramp's finger. Miller <laughs> to Arneson. Now Chandler. Chandler. Now room for Verma. Go Verma. On, commit yourself. Oh, oh slide to the ball's in from Thompson. Cleaned out Verma there. The Mansfield fans around us aren't happy, but... And you uh, can see the despair in the fans of Mansfield because they know this is an opportunity Darling can cash in on. It's at that sort of distance for as well where you like to think that they can get in the back of the net. Left-hand side of the of the, of the uh, pitch for Darlington. Two minutes left. Free kick to Darlow, about ten yards outside the Mansfield area. Mark Bridge Wilkinson is on the ball at the moment with Aaron Brown. Uh, which one's taking it? They're both looking they're, they're, at they're it. Look, they're looking to see where the keeper's going to go, well, see where he's going to leave the gap. At the moment, it's to our left. The keeper's standing no, almost Bridge. next to the right-hand post. It's Bridge Wilkinson, Kevin. I don't know. It I is. Don't know. That's it a, is. I've seen him do this. That's a great... Yeah, he's going to whip it I, round I, into I, the left. Yeah. But I've seen him do it. It's inviting for Brown, but it is. It's Wilkinson, I think, is going to take I've this. I've seen him do it. I hope we're right. Come on. The keep this move, though. Redemption. No. Come yeah. on. Score. Bridge Wilkinson. Right foot in. Oh, oh it's at the force. But we were trying to turn it. Oh! Agony oh. for all of us to support in Darlington today. Absolute oh. agony to see that hit that post. I thought oh. it was in. Oh! Can't we nearly call it right? Oh. And you're just looking around and wondering, is, is it our day? Bridge Wilkinson can't believe what he's just witnessed, as we, as we also 
I honestly thought really that was nestling in the back of the net. Anderson forward into the box, but there's an offside back against Senior. Oh, James, 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 oh, come on. Let's hope we're not saying that's as close Starlington got to winning their first ever major trophy. That, that ball, it just whistled in front and over of the wall and it just rattled uh, the goalkeeper's uh, right-hand post and Mark Cooper and Richard Dryden were saying exactly what you were saying and exactly what we all were saying. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just hope that uh, Mansfield don't capitalise on this now. They're moving forward down this left-hand side. Smith towards the far post. Sam Russell, that's yours, and he punches it away well. Puts it out of play for a throw-in. We're into added on time, minimum of two minutes. Yeah, it's down or nil, Mansfield nil. Well, Ray, you've got to think if only at the moment because nine times out of ten, you don't see that, do you? <laughs> see you, mate. Let's just hope that Briscoe doesn't make something out of this now. Verma gets it out and play for a throw in. Uh, defended well there, Verma. Oh, so near yet so far, but the players have got to concentrate. They've got to stop Mansfield from doing something from this throw. Silk to Briscoe. Briscoe tried to play the return ball. Verma almost landed himself in trouble. Briscoe shirt built, got a guilty of a shirt tug yeah. and free kick to Darlow. Worthy of a booking, but referee's decided to try and keep it a, a clean game in his unless he's forgot his pencil well i'm pleased he has to be honest he's it, it's been a good lesson in man major for the referees too without yeah he's, he's done but, well but, but to be honest is that his uh, critics in the past for one or two things that he's done wrong yeah but, well uh, we only learn from mistakes really. you know but uh, credit where credit's due he's had a really good game today brown with a throw in a minute and a half almost into added on time as uh, the mansfield Fans try to lift their players. Chandler tries to enter midfield, but here's Thompson breaking. But Anderson is there to stop him. Chandler to Bridge Wilkinson. Here we come. Bridge Wilkinson now. Possibly Bridge Wilkinson on the right hand side. Tries to oh, win yes. to the Tommy right. Oh, oh, just wide on the left hand post. How a diamond header from Tommy Wright in space, 10 yards out, and he puts it oh. wide. Do you know I had visions of the Keith Houching diving header at Wembley there? It was an absolute replica of that, except Keith Houching put it in the net. And the final oh. whistle's gone, I think, unless there's a... Well, the referee might as well blow it because we've well, got cramp attacks everywhere. We've got there's... two Darling players on the backs. Mansfield, Fozzie's actually uh, administering yeah. medical aid. And there we Fozzie. go, and it's the end of the 90 minutes. We're going to have 30 minutes of extra time. But well, what a dramatic last five minutes when Darlow yeah. would have won it. The free kick by Mark Bridge, Wilkinson. And that diving header by Tommy Wright well, that must have scraped that left-hand post. Well, I'm sorry, Ray, but Tommy hasn't had the best of halves this half, and it was a lot harder to miss than it was to score, and he found the hard route. Unfortunately for all those fans here at Downing, we were just waiting to see that net ripple. Absolutely miss of the, uh, of the day, obviously. Quickly followed by Ian Miller's earlier, but uh, ironically, in the... Four minutes of the dying of the game, we've seen the best uh, part of the game. Yes. Now, all the Mansfield players are down on the ground at the moment. One or two Darlow players are receiving treatment. But, oh, dear me, it, I don't think we've ever had a, well, a more dramatic last couple of minutes in Darlow's adventures this season. James, on the on the touchline, have you recovered yet, James? I tell you what, I feel like I'm sitting in a pool of sweat here. It, it's been <laughs> unbelievable, hasn't it? And in the wake of all that left just a trail of players all over the floor uh, needing attention for cramp i notice uh, mark's dad terry cooper's on the pitch at the moment just uh, trying to motivate a, a few players the goalkeeper coach T uh, tony elliott and also uh, tomo as well the kit man just going around trying to g the players up it's darlow who've ended this game on the ascendancy and you just got the impression that they didn't want the final whistle to go and mansfield were really relieved to hear it uh, no doubt their manager mansfield's manager will be trying to lift his players up and hope that darlington have, have given it their all and that will now kind of come down on the ascent as it were but uh, mark cooper's just got to say keep doing what you were doing and do you know what Darlington defensively this afternoon in the main haven't given me any worries at all Mansfield for me are there for the taking they look tired they look out of it mentally they look very down and, and I think this is Darlington's trophy to win can you remember Kevin 1966 World Cup final at the end of the 90 minutes Alf Ramsey said to the players 
don't lie down on the surface. Yeah. And, and all the Dalos players are standing up now. Yeah. And Mansfield, yeah. they've all been down on the surface. They're all taking water in there. And uh, you just get the impression that Mansfield almost close to break a point because well, they haven't got many options amongst the substitutes. No, they haven't. They're, they're absolutely stretched. They're limitless, uh, you know, in, in what they can bring on. They're, they're absolutely at the bare bones of the cupboard. And you just wonder, you know, if Mansell have had them chances, would they have got them in with your Briscoes and uh, the other players? You know, we've created chances that normally you've put it all to bed. We're wrapping up our kit, we're closing our laptops and we're off with a smile on our chops. Unfortunately, the agony lingers for another half hour, is it, Ray? Yeah, half an hour, plus penalties if necessary. And it was ironic that when we looked on the pitch and saw Terry Cooper, Mark's uh, father there, he's actually speaking to the, to the left-back of our side, so <laughs> whatever advice it was, let's hope it works. James again. Yeah, hi there, Ray. I've got Craig Little with me, uh, who's been sitting in the dugout. Craig, what do you make of the game so far? Um, I think we've been the better side uh, for the whole 90 minutes. Um, we thought we won it at the end. We were up celebrating, uh, just whisked past the post. And obviously, Bridges free kick five minutes earlier. You know, I think we, we deserved we deserved to win it in the 90 minutes. Hopefully, the lads will dig in now. They'll, they'll, they'll look out on the feet, to be honest. So hopefully, we can dig in and, and finish it off. What goes through a player's mind now, physically? Is it more about the mentally kind of getting through that next half an hour? Yeah, I think physically, I think the boys will be fine. They've played a lot of games, so fitness levels won't be an issue. Uh, they've got one or two who've been carrying knocks and just made it, so hopefully, you know, that superior fitness is going to shine through, especially in this sort of, sort of second period of extra time. Uh, but, you know, we couldn't fault them. The lads have been absolutely outstanding, I think. And you can't come any closer, can you, to hitting the post from a, a free kick? Yeah, no, we, I mean, it was perfect, perfect position for Bridgie, and, you know, just before I hit, I said, this is it, and just the other side of the woodwork would have been nice, but... You know, I still really, really strongly fancy us. What will Mark be saying to the players now? Just more of the same, I think. I think we've, we've been, as I say, the better side, and he'll just be saying, if we continue that for another 30 minutes, there's only going to be one team that wins it. Thank you for your time, Craig. All the best. Thanks, Ray. Yes, thanks very much, Craig Little, who's had uh, at least two spells as Darlow caretaker manager in the last two years. And uh, James Malford, our man on the touchline. Let's hope that uh, Darlow can pick up the pace here in extra time. The attendance this afternoon is 24,668, which I think I would split uh, 10,000 Darlow, 15,000 Mansfield, Kevin. Yeah, you? I think that's about a fair assumption of that. I, I think Mark Cooper's just uh, gave his biggest team talk for the whole of the season, and let's hope it works because... Uh, you know, I hope I, I hope that the players can, have got the resolve and the strength to carry on. And uh, I agree with Craig that you know we are the better side now. We're in the ascendancy. We've just got to pick up the momentum. And please, let's hit the target.
the first period of extra time is about to commence Mansfield kick off right to left and uh, a poor ball straight away by Nix puts it out of play for a throw into Darlow yeah, the last it. thing you want at the start of extra time something like that to hand over the initiative yeah territorial the, advantage there to us and we end up with a corner the, from a sloppy pass from their centre back Bridge Wilkinson goes across to take it Ray, wow. is the one goal in this I think, the there's more, goal. I think there's more than one now, Kevin. Yeah, with the tiredness. The legs, the yeah, legs are going to go. Tiredness could be the Let's game. hope that Dallo get them. Bridge Wilkinson from the corner. Swirls it in. It uh, goes over everyone. But uh, Arneson gets it on the right hand side. Good ball back in. Marriott comes for it and holds it well above right. Yeah, Marriott is an experienced keeper. Safe hands there. Shouted loud and clear for it. Tommy Wright tried to go he crashing into him, but uh, to no avail, I'm afraid. The ball rolls out to Silk on the right-hand side. Infield to Nix. And now Foster. It's important we don't start dropping off Ray. We've got to keep, you know, a high level on the pitch of defence. Murray, left-hand side to Adam Smith. Murray, back to Spence. Spence knocks it forward. Vermeer intercepts. Good layoff by Moore to Tommy Wright. Wright knocks knocks uh, nicks off the ball the ball by verma to aaron brown brown trying to get round the back and it does but uh, oh, nobody yeah. anticipating in the middle great run by brown to get round the back of the full back but uh, he pulled the ball back inside but uh Moore yeah. didn't have the energy to get to it yeah brown might be regretting that surge you know yeah. lap. he struggled to get back in there yeah. like an old steam locomotive getting back into his position there but again, we're just not that sharp at the front of our lines there to get across the... It's all rough for Thompson here, though. Thompson getting to the edge of the area, but uh, well anticipated by Miller. The defenders are going to have to be on the toes now. Yeah. Arneson to Bridge Wilkinson. It's important we keep it tight. Now, Firma running forward. And I just, Firma, and I Firma. just think, Ray, it's down to an individual now. Keeps on going. Firma. Moore trying the overlap. Paul Terry's warming up. I think that's significant. Moore. Yeah. Uh, senior rather on the right hand side. Ball put out of play. I think this is where I think Terry might be coming on to go centre half and Hatch go front. It could well be. It's a great move if he does. You wouldn't complain if it happened. Arneson into the area looking for right, but cleared. Only as far as Verma doesn't quite control it and the ball squirts out to Moore on that far side. Moore. Now Chandler. Keep the ball. The Chandler to Bridge point. Wilkinson. Keep the ball. Possession. That's the key of That's it all, isn't key. it? Yeah, yeah. Just Senior. Be patient. Chandler, just pick your way through. Brown. For Darlow. Now Chandler. Chandler to Bridge Wilkinson. And Chandler again, running forward. Chandler it's a great slipping ball. it through for Senior on the right hand side. Only one in the box. Senior. Trying to get into the area, and the first defender who is Naylor puts it out to play for a corner to Dallo. Tommy Wright's out on his feet. Well, this is I mean, it on, but uh, Tommy Wright's put in a lot of work, but unfortunately, he's had very, very little of a return on it. Nothing seems to have gone right for him. He's a diving header, and we're going to see a substitution for Mansfield in yeah, a minute. Yeah, Ashley Kane's going to come on for Mansfield. But it's a Dalor corner first. Fresh legs. Brown to take it. Left footed. Big lads are up into that near post headed away by the first defender. Comes out to Arneson. Anxious moments for this crowd of 24,668. At Wembley this afternoon. Brown steps inside. Left footed into the box, ah, cleared again. Twice he's Chandler. He's Twice he swung his left foot, Adam Brown, and each time he hasn't missed the Brown, front man. Left footed into the box, looking for right, who gets his head to it, but not enough power, not enough direction. And it goes out of play for a, a goal kick, James, on the touchline. Yeah, there's not too much following of instructions from Mark Cooper and Richard Dryden. I mean, this is mentally tiring to, to watch, let alone physically tiring. And uh, Mark Cooper just, I think Paul Anderson's a little bit concerned that perhaps he's got a bit of cramp. Uh, and he's just signalling to the bench there, perhaps there's, there's something wrong with his thigh. Uh, but Mark Cooper is very much saying, run it off, keep going. 
uh, lots of, of puffs of cheeks and, and looking up to the sky for Richard Ryan and Mark Cooper. And uh, Darlington, as you say, have just made a substitution. Ashley Kane, who's a midfielder, has just come on. So Kane is on for Adam Smith for Mansfield, and Mansfield have a throw in about 15, 20 yards inside the Dallow half. To be taken by Dan Spence. Five and a half minutes gone of the first period of extra time. Here at Wembley, thanks very much for listening to us this afternoon. Handball. And there's a handball there. This is such an important time now for captains for both sides. This is where they, they gain, the, gain the respect and, and hopefully have the influence on tired minds and tired bodies to get every last ounce of gas out of them, keep them tuned in, keep the togetherness. Briscoe swap sides from right to left. And the sub, Kane, has gone to the right-hand side. Now Brown for Dallow. Heads it forward, but beyond everyone. Paul Terry still warming up. So is Phil Gray. Briscoe comes back across to this side. This is, a, this is the one we were worried about, the duel we were worried about, Arsene V. Briscoe. Trying to get it now. It's caught by Arneson, oh. but... I don't know, it's waist height, it was a waist height header because he was on his hands and knees when he tried to head it. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's been a bit too kind to Mansfield there, the referee. I mean, uh, he's stooping down to head that. Defender being a defender, what's he going to do? He's going to try and attack the ball. He didn't try and attack his head. So, free kick to Mansfield, about 30 yards out, inside left position. They're taking the time over it as they would. Ashley Kane, it is who's on the, the ball now. He's probably got the freshest pair of legs on the field. Just wondering if he's uh, planning something there. Well, I think with he, Nicks, he, but, uh, he likes to hit these. Kane he's chips it right foot it. towards the back post. Bit of a scramble, and uh, it's cleared. Senior yeah. flicks it over his head. Yeah, Verma and did well, uh, ball it picked up on the left-hand side. Kane trying to work it inside to Nixon as a shot comes in and it goes nice. harmlessly, corner, harmlessly corner. wide from Briscoe for a goal kick. Yeah, scary little moments. They will appear. They will occur. It's whether we survive them. Goal kick to Dallo. We're to our left. Extra time here at Wembley. Sam just taking a drink of water. <laughs> Must be thirsty work watching all them lads <laughs> running around in front of him. <laughs> it was extra time last year. Ten-man Barrow beat nine-man Stevenage in extra time. Senior trying to get it way up the right-hand side from the bridge workers above. <laughs> Senior shoved uh, Spence out of the way. Well, to be fair, to get to the ball. To be fair, Spence stood in his run as, as he was trying to get round him. He actually blocked him off. James on the touchline. Yeah, Mark Cooper, very frustrated at the the, uh, the referee's decision there. He's just holding his hands up, saying, "Well, you know, what did he do?" And just before that, actually, when Mansfield had that free kick, both uh, Jamie Chandler and Mark Bridge Wilkinson were were saying to the referee, "Hang on a minute." He had his head down by his knee. How could that be a foul? Arneson inside his own box. Good challenge to get the ball back to Russell and. Uh, there's a challenge by Arneson or Murray, he had to get it, and uh, Mansfield were claiming a penalty, Murray went down, but uh, I know we're a bit of a distance away from it, uh, and the replay's and the going up now, and uh, Arneson got that one, clean as a whistle. Reverie having a word with Hatchie yet again, his mouth let him uh, get into trouble here. Now then. Something we don't need at the moment. Terry coming on, Bridge Wilkinson going off. Where's he going to play? Where's he going to play? I think he's going to sit in there. Is he going to sit behind? It looks like he is. Hatcher staying at the back. Well, Obama will be on the roll. So, Bridge Wilkinson is off. Yeah. Terry is on. Interesting to see where Verma goes here. He's actually getting instruction from Terry Verma. Not Terry Verma, I know Terry what you mean. Yeah. Verma. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> We've had ten minutes gone of extra time. Hatcher still at the back. Brown with a throw, right trying to help it on. 
towards Senior. The ball thumped into touch on the far side for a throw-in to Dallow. I'm quite sure if he gets the penalties as well, Ray, you know, both teams will have been on the training ground, but practicing, you can't, you nominating. Can't, you can't replicate penalties, though, Kevin, no, for the no, situation. No. no, true. And funny you should mention penalties, that uh, Dallow have lost their last four penalty shootouts. Sorry. <laughs> Arneson forward. I Looking for I didn't want to senior. hear that really. <laughs> Terry to senior. Senior to Moore on the right. Now Moore. Trying to work his way in. Back to Terry. Terry right footer towards that far post. Is this it? Oh Verma. Oh, oh it was clear. This shot was blocked. Why was he taking a touch? Why didn't he hit it first time? He's on the back stick, it's gone over the defender, he's coming onto the ball, hit it. Brown with the throw in. Great ball by Terry, I must say. Picked him out. Yeah, picked him out well. Terry with the throw on the far side. Short to Verma. Back to Brown, Brown in space, trying to toe poke it in the middle, cleared. Out to Terry, right with the flick header, oh. just past the right hand post. Dallow claiming that uh, the keeper got a touch to it, and that's what Tommy Wright is saying. But uh, uh, good princess of mind there by Tommy Wright and by Paul Terry. A uh, glimpse of a chance, a glimpse of a chance. But straight away, substitution, Terry comes on, he's got himself involved, he's put a brilliant uh, right foot cr cross into the back of the post, wasted opportunity, put a ball in there, first time. Glancing header by Tommy, just past the right-hand post. Great introduction. Another throw in to Dallow, Arneson, and uh, Tommy Wright is a judge to have held oh, no. He's going to book him. Oh, no. It's only a yellow. It's, uh, he's flattened nailer. Yeah, and the referee's saying use of an elbow. And uh, Tommy Wright is saying that... Uh, he does do it, though. He does do it. And right is booked. Well, sometimes though, Kevin, you say reds for that. Well, I think in a different uh, situation, it might, it might have got a red. I think would have been a special occasion in brackets. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and it's a silly thing to do. We're in the, you know, if he could have been sent off, he could have took them down to ten men. He could have done, yeah. He could have done. But uh, one or two text messages coming in at the moment uh, saying, calm down, Ray, it's in the bag. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fault, it hasn't gone in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Mansfield legs are going, but I've just got this worry that there's a few uh, Dallow legs going as well. Thanks very much, though, everyone, for listening this afternoon as this game reaches a really tense finale. The last time Dala won a penalty shootout, by the way, was against uh, Bradford City in the 2003-2004 Carlin Cup. It was 5-3 in the shootout. Free kick to Mansfield. Born into the Dallow area off uh, Briscoe, I think it is. And it goes out of play for a goal kick to Dallow. At what point in extra time does... A footballer reach the wall, the oh, stamina they, wall. Really, they've already gone through the wall. What, I mean, how it, how it works is in the first 20, 25 minutes of a game, you're putting that much energy into it, you're running around, you're thinking 90 mile an hour, you hit that wall, you get through that wall, then you're into your, your deep-lying reserves, and they're just about all running on empty. Yeah, you suddenly call on them, don't you? Yeah, but this is where the pre-season training comes in. You bank all this... For situations like this now it's all in the bank your hard work in your pre-season training it's all coming out now throwing down or brown with it right helps it on to senior and uh, ball but up there by foster for a throw 14 and a half minutes gone an extra time firmer back to terry now chandler now moore arneson forward to chandler in the corner Chandler 
Spreads it through well towards Arneson who slides in. Ball rebounds, but uh, unfortunately it's picked up by Arnie, Thompson Arnie to the right back Silk. Arneson gives chase. Got to give credit a lot. He's shown some Match forward. He had. Right trying to help it on. Arneson playing up front. <laughs> Causing all sorts of problems. The ball bounces off Brown's knee to Terry. Now Hatch. Hatch forward. Where's Anderson gone now? He's playing left midfield. He's to get back but anyway, Thompson position. bursting away now on yep. the right hand side. He's got two up with him. But uh, fortunately, Dallow held him up. Still keeps on going though. Careful. It uh, goes down. Oh. Nothing doing, says the ref. And the ball goes out of play for a goal kick. Well, he'd run around in circles and uh, gone into the corner well, and he thought well I might as well give it a go and fall over and see well, if I can get a penalty in situations like that your heart in your mouth hoping that you know the referee keeps his head doesn't be stupid thankfully he's a premier, <laughs> premier, <laughs> premier referee Arneson away for Darlow again up the right hand side the left back nail uh, gets it out. And this is what this is the policy we've got to, to, to gather now. We've got to get the ball, and when we do get the ball, keep it in their half. Get it over the back of them, get them turning, facing their own keeper, and let's see where we go from there. Harrison forward, Foster away again. Terry trying to get it back, but Kyle Nix wins it. And Murray tries to get Kane away on the right-hand side. Kane running forward. Dallow getting back in numbers, they've got three back goal side, Kane blocked by Brown, Brown did well to get back goal side, had anybody supporting Kane there's no yellow shirted player within 30 yards and uh, he's conceded a free kick in the end yeah, throw to Dallow, which to his amazement another Mansfield player goes down with Cramp, just inside the Dallow penalty area James on the touchline Tell you what, this watching this game, it's almost like watching it in slow motion, isn't it? Um, just going back to the Tommy Wright challenge, uh, from where we are, I'm just a couple of rows uh, above the, the dugouts here, you couldn't really complain. And as, as you said, Tommy Wright, fortunate uh, yeah. not to be sent off, arguably. Some referees may have taken a slightly harsher view of it. The uh, half time whistle for extra time has just gone. Uh, but Paul Arneson completely out on his feet. And I just wonder part of the reason why he was playing as a left winger. Uh, for, for a while, it's just because he's so tired. I think Mark Cooper thought, well, he, he's better off just kind of out of the defensive area for a while so we can bring someone in with, with a few fresh legs, a kind of internal substitution, if you like, for a while. But uh, half-time, nil-nil. Thanks very much, James. So, again, what does the manager say? Well, keep it going, lads. He, he, he says... 15 keep minutes more. Keep the ball. It's more important now than in, in any part of this game. When they get possession, we keep possession team can't hurt you if you have the ball keep the possession if you're under pressure you'll be saying get it over the back of their defenders let's squeeze up let's get them chasing the ball facing their keeper and squeeze it up and see if we can grab the bits conserve the energy mark cooper on the field talk to his players so is richard dryden one of the mansfield players is receiving treatment on that far side I think it's Adam Murray who was, uh, who was injured. Uh, Is that now, the Whitley Bay lads? No, that's the Colville lads. Ah. Uh, the Colville players are here in the FA Vars tomorrow. They're playing Whitley Bay. They're leaving the ground now. They decided uh, to go on for the tees. Whitley Bay aren't partaking in the trophy final. They're having a, a training session at Barnet. Yeah. Whitley Bay going for their third successive win in the FA Vars. Nobody else has ever done that. A few of them players having a sleepless night. How do you prepare for a Wembley final, eh? Anyway, Dal ought to kick off the second period of extra time. One last push. Yeah, it's all about desire now. It's all about concentration. One chance. I think it's down to that now, Kevin. One chance. Well, you're calling upon your senior players. Ball your kicked off. Your captain. Hatch turns, looks to see where his keeper is and plays the ball left foot and upfield. Quickly returns into vision, heads the ball away when it's returned by Thompson. 
Verma puts it out and play for a throw in. All down to the strength in the legs, the strength in the minds. Hatch wins it for Darlow and hits it forward. Tommy Wright watches it go over his head and runs after it as fast as he can. Marriott quickly out of his goal. Arneson with the header down to Moore. Moore back to Arneson. Arneson oh, forward, look for Senior, but too far for Senior. Yeah, it was a great bend by Senior. He bent his run, got beyond his defenders. Unfortunately, the ball was just too strong for Arneson. Ball rolled out to Silk, and now Nela to Kane. Good challenge from Hatch again. Hatch running forward, finds right. Right out to the left hand side of Verma. Plenty of Dallow plays up. Chandler's gone up. Verma on this left hand side doesn't have much support. Immediately close to him. Apart from Terry to Senior. Senior. Left foot short that loops in the air and the keeper holds on. Tommy yeah. Wright was there waiting for the pieces, but unfortunately he didn't fall for him. Yeah, I mean it was a good uh, a good attack by Darlington. Terry at the forefront of it, dictating, orchestrating that move. And that's what you want, your older players, your more experienced players creating things. It looks like Mansfield are going to try and get another player on. Yeah, it's going to be Danny Mitchell, who has been out injured apparently. Ball on the right with Kane, back to Silk, into the handball. box, possible handball by yeah. Murray Goodshout, Kevin, you right? Referee's seen it, Linesman, sorry. And free kick to Darlow, Murray suffering from cramp. He's off the field, so why does the referee just continue with the game? Now he's coming back on. To come so off. <laughs> he's wandered on the field. And, uh, Mitchley, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. It actually is. It, it is him. Off, yeah. <laughs> it is him. Mitchley comes on for Murray. Well, it has to be said, Murray's had a good game. He's led by example. He's been proud to have that captain's armband on, and he's led by example. Unfortunately, the legs are just too tired for him to continue. He obviously wasn't in the penalty take as well. <laughs> well, thanks for the text messages that are coming through, everyone, saying good luck, Dallo. Let's hope that they can it, keep it going. Incidentally, remember when we got an email from the guy from Texas, Chris, and he was offering us a... I actually <laughs> met, him the, out. I yeah. met him at the last home game, and I knew who he was straight away. <laughs> But he never gave you the trip out. No, yeah. but he's invited me over to Texas any time. All oh, right, right. Arneson. To Terry. Terry chips it forward, right foot. And Tommy Wright had a little bit of space there behind Foster. He wasn't offside. And the ball is going to... Oh, dear. And uh, now Arneson misjudged that. And here's the run. Ball on the left-hand side. Into the middle. Clear by Hatch ahead of Connor. You know, Hatch did absolutely brilliant there. He was running back, facing Sam Russell, his own keeper, twisting his head, seeing where Briscoe was all the time, and got in front of him to clear that ball. Great Moore, defending. Moore ran into uh, a defender there as well. Ball into midfield. Just seemed to be dropping off a bit. Yeah, the gaps are opening up now, Kevin. Connor trying to get it through towards Briscoe, but uh, it stopped Arneson. Got to try and keep possession, Kevin, if they can. That's, not, that's the key. And, and not, that is and the not, key, not, Ray. If and, we and keep losing carelessly. If we, if we keep possession and progress, gaps will appear. Foss, Fossey will be feeling the. Uh, the well, he heat must now. be, wasn't he? Yeah, and we've got, you know, we've got uh, our little uh, darty Chris Senior there to take him on. Hatch, good header against Briscoe. Gets it away. Tommy Wright goes down. Senior tries to get it back. Clearance by Naylor. Brown header forward. Hatch has gone Stru no, straight to Silk. It's Tommy Wright who's down and uh, sportingly Mansfield have put it out and the the Deedon of I mean it's, yeah. it's clearly crumb, but uh, I think he's took a bang on the knee actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James on the touchline. 
I think now it's just a, a case of common respect, I think, for, for fellow professionals. Uh, as you say, uh, the ball there being put out by Gary Silk as Tommy Wright was down. Wright actually is just clutching his knee. Uh, the physio has uh, just gone out to attend to him. He's just uh, in front of the centre circle uh, inside uh, Darlington's half of the field. Armand Verma and Jamie Chandler uh, just going to grab some water and Richard Dryden tossing the water bottles out to uh, Liam Hatcher and Aaron Brown as well. You know, this really is, 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 is as good as a, a break in play, really. A little bit like the, the half-time of extra time just to regroup and, and get some much-needed energy back. Well, it's important, as anybody knows, when they go on holiday to hot, humid countries to take on as much water as possible. And it's no exception today when you've been running around for two hours. You need to hydrate as quickly as possible and as much as possible. That's right, and the occasion saps you as well, the fact you're at Wembley. The adrenaline runs out at some point, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, these guys, you know, the, 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 whoever wins, they'll find the energy to celebrate, believe you me, Ray. Oh, yeah, but they but they'll be tired guys for a few days after. Tommy Wright's going to come back on. Aman Verma's going to sportingly give the ball back to uh, Mansfield. Terry plays it back to keeper Marriott. Tommy Wright comes back on. Six minutes gone of the second period of extra time. Dallow nil, Mansfield nil. FA Trophy final here at Wembley. Ball on the edge of the Dallow penalty area though the ball played out wide right by Connor to Kane Kane right foot across into the middle the best oh. one from Mansfield yet and it's headed over at the far post and by what, Connor what a let off that was for us Miller had it covered he was running in to clear that ball but Hatchie just got a glance at the head on it and took it away from Miller and thankfully he come that quick it was, is it Briscoe? No, it's Connor. Uh, it's Connor. From that quick, Connor, his reaction wasn't quick enough, thankfully, and he popped wide left for a goal kick. Tadalo, away to our right. It's probably Mansfield's best opportunity, actually, for a long time. Well, they've had two, really, haven't they? The one where it just popped over the... Uh, yeah, over the Briscoe the one. Yeah, the Briscoe, the Briscoe one. one. They're the only two, but we've had far clearer, clearer opportunities. Let's hope we don't have to regret that uh, free kick that hit the post from Bridgeworks and the diving header by Tommy Wright that went just wide and uh, Dad will get a throw in right next to that corner flag on the far side. Seven minutes gone, second period of extra time. Dallow nil, Mansfield nil, Harnison with the throw from Terry. Terry into the box to Moore. Moore trying to turn finds Terry, back to Moe, Moe trying to get round the back, but good cover um, by Foster, well spotted. The corner. But, uh, come on Hatchy, come on Lee, Mi Lee Miller, Lee. let's try Ian. <laughs> Miller and Hatch, both going up for it. Brown to take the corner. I mean, it's so important here that Aaron Brown makes this big quality, misses the front man. Aim for the penalty spot. Tired left foot, but come on. In it comes. Oh, it was the back post. Tommy Wright with a header, oh, clean oh, off the oh, line. Another oh, header comes in. It bar. was Miller tipped over the top. Oh. Wow. Oh. We asked for a quality ball yeah. from Aaron got Brown, it. and we certainly got it, Ray. We nearly, nearly yet again got that decisive goal. Great defended by Mansfield. Well. Wow. One of the Mansfield players goes down. Referee was going to wave the physio on, but uh, the player said, no, I'll continue. Another chance. One last Is this goal. it? Come A on. Mansfield rocking. Where's Hatchie? Come on, Hatchie. We'll be rocking if this goes in. Brown towards the far post. Was Hatchie? Oh, oh he got a glance and header on it. But it goes wide. He clattered into the keeper as well. And uh, the ball goes out of play for a goal kick. Yeah, and Andy Murray, it's... Uh feeling the effects of the challenge scores in the Premiership Aston Villa 1, Wigan 1 Bolton 1, Sunderland 2 Everton 2, Man City 1 Newcastle 2, Birmingham 1 West Ham 1, Blackburn 1 Tottenham and Blackpool 5.30 kickoff. now how long goalkeeper we got, how long we got yeah. I think Mansfield are now playing for penalties taking the time killing time Dallow fans trying to lift their players now. 
Mark Cooper says to the referee, come on, add some time on. Yeah, you've got to admire our support today, they've certainly played their part. Mansfield as well, joining in. Both fans are accepting and acknowledging it's been a challenging game. Been a and great effort by there. both sets of players. Yeah. Now Verma trying to get Muro, a senior away on that right-hand side, and he does. Dalo streaming into the middle, senior trying to get past his man, but it's intercepted, and uh, there's a break on Prisco oh, to Nix. Connor there. and uh, Miller comes across to put it out of play for a, a throw-in. Four and a half minutes left of added on time. It'll be penalties. Well, as you've already mentioned, Ray, the two occasions they've met this season have all ended in draws. Been draws, 1-1 one, one and 0-0. Nil, nil. Tommy Wright scored in the very last minute to field man. Now, oh. there's a half a chance ball into the middle from the left-hand side by Connor and the corner conceded by Verma. Huntsville fans try to lift their team. This is where we've got to be strong, resolute. It's a one-goal game, Kevin. It's a one-goal game again. Get talking to your comrades. Kane with a corner on the right-hand side for Mansfield. Right foot out, swinger. It was that far post and oh, uh, it was Hatcham glanced it away. Glanced it away for and a throw-in. To be fair, Ray, apart from the uh, gaff in the uh, first half of Hatchie, he's had an absolutely solid game in that defence there. Now, Dal with some defending, a long range shot comes in, and it is long range as well yeah. from Richley. It goes high something. and wide. Have to be something special to beat Russell from that Thankfully, distance. that never was. As he takes another gulp of water, I hope it's water. <laughs> <laughs> Goal kick to Dal, all way to our right. Three minutes left, plus added on time. Dal or nil. Mansfield nil. And Sam hits a right-footed long punt upfield. For senior. Well into the Mansfield yeah. end. Now Verma on the left-hand side. Verma trying to dribble his way to that byline. Verma left foot across towards that far post. Nice. Marriott holds on. Too nice. But, uh, Tommy Wright's legs have given up just about. Clearance to Alfield by Marriott. So Marriott so on the bounce. And the uh, ball was played by Connor and Miller got it away. Dallow trying to pick it up in midfield. Nix gets it forward towards Midgley, but Hatch is there. Lays it off for Brown. Brown, high ball forward up for Senior, <laughs> but uh, Foster wins up and comfortably. Terry now to Arneson on the right-hand side. Arneson, one last one to Moore. Moore keeps on going. Moore, right good ball course. in the middle, oh, headed away oh, by Foster. It's a great defensive header. Dallow not surprisingly slow to follow up. Legs are good. Chandler trying to give chase and get the ball back, but uh, Briscoe keeps on going. One last run for Mansfield. Briscoe looking for Hatch. Midgley. Hatch has got that. Making good ground and falls off uh, Midgley, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, great ball goes out of there for Hatch. a goal kick. You've not got to commend Hatch's performance, especially in the second half. He's been solid, he hasn't messed about. He's got rid of it when need be. He's been strong in the challenge. He's popping up actually anywhere now and everywhere in the in the in the back four line. I thought there'd be a few goals in extra time, Kevin, but uh, well, got that one wrong. But uh, right heads the ball on for senior clearance. We should be looking at the two nil that I prophesized before the game. Well, I just hope we're not chances. saying if only if only later on. Now here's a run though by Kane. Kane out to the right hand side to Mitchley. Mitchley getting past uh, Hatch. And, uh, and it's the right Hatch, decision, linesman's yeah. right on it, Ray. Mitchley went down, and uh, the linesman was only a couple of yards away from it, and uh, we've played on. In the last minute, have added on, but we're going to have two or three minutes, surely more, as uh, Foster heads the ball away. Brown lets it go out of play. One last push. One last push. Uh, Brown to take this it. throw in. Pedalo. If anybody's got the legs to move in the space, of course. Tommy Wright uh, did enough. Now to we have it. Now it's nodded out. 
long range territory now for, yeah. for Brown. And about 10 Miller's yards off the byline of Mansfield's. Uh, Miller's gone off for it. Brown to take this throw. One glancing header across that box. Brown in now, Hatch is in the box as well now. Hatch trying to get their ball flicked on by Miller. Keep it goes for it. Tommy Wright's got a header on it. Oh, oh it's, it's at the, the top of the back. See ya! And it's in! It's no! And that's had it. On time. That's the he way to kill on. it. And and I, think, was on. I think it was Chris Senior at that far post who got it. There was a was crowd of players, right the and Dallo are on their way Could to Mark, winning the FA Trophy. Mark it's their, get booked here. It's their first goal of Wembley in three visits, deep, deep into added on time. We were waiting to see how many seconds of added on there was going to be. The ball bounced off of the top of the bar. Mark Cooper's been pushed off the pitch by the referee. Well. Stuart Atwell. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Dallo fans away to our left hand side. Go ballistic. And well. so, after so many games this season, have conceded late goals in added on time. Well, it's been a pleasure holding on to being the last captain to, to lift oh. the trophy, but I tell you what... Chris Senior, you are a hero. He's earned it, he's absolutely earned it. Oh, the smallest player on the field, heads the ball what. in. It was a backheader by Liam Hatch. You think he's small, Ray? He ain't small, he's 20 foot tall, that man. Yeah, how long now is the referee going to add on for added on time? Nobody's noticed. I think it'll be a couple of minutes. Well, Chris you've, Senior. You've got to feel for Matfield, but for it's now, a cruel game. Now, don't forget about Dallo, added on time goals. Don't forget. Oh, come on. Hang on. Kane on the right-hand side, runs into Brown and wins a free kick. Well, it's, oh, no. He's going to actually get his book Brown is booked. Just when you oh. want to keep level heads. When you want to keep level heads, we can concede a free kick. About 22 yards out, right hand side. And the goalkeeper's gone up. Well, the last time Marion we saw is a, up. I don't want to kiss fade here, but the last time we saw the keeper go up, Scott Flinders was it? Scott, yeah. Oh, everybody back for Darlow. Sorry about the decibel level, folks, but uh, that really was a really exciting moment. Let's just hope that uh, Darlow can keep it out. I mean, it bounced off the top of the bar nine times a ten to go out, but this one bounced down, and who's there? The littlest man. Ken free goes. kick into the box, in for the keeper, headed away, I think, by Achomina. And the referee is whistle goes, and Darlow <laughs> win the FA Trophy. The first major competition in the 128 year history. And Chris Senior, the substitute, scores the goal. The ball bounced off the crossbar from the long throw by Aaron Brown. Well, there's going to and be some Chris Senior was waiting to it's nod the ball into the net. And Chris Senior runs away to the left hand side to celebrate in front of the Dalor fans. And Chris Senior, as summer signing, is there to hit the winner. Fidalo. And you look around at the Mansfield, they're mesmerised how on earth they've lost their hands on the cup. But if you're going to win a game, let's win it that way. They've got no chance of coming back from that, as we've seen. And look at the fans, Ray, it's an absolute dream to look at. Unfortunately, listeners, you'll only get the papers tomorrow to see it, but absolutely fantastic support from the Darlington uh, crowd. And I tell you what, there won't be many bars... Uh, with any ill by oh. about 2 a.m. today. See you, mate. What a finish. What a goal. Right at the end of extra time. A long throw by Aaron Brown. Headed on at the near post. I think it was Liam Hatch who headed it back. And uh, the ball was nodded in by Chris Senior at the far post. James Mountford on the touchline. Well, my goodness me. What an amazing moment. I'm just seeing if I can try and uh, grab a player to, to interview them. The Darlington fans, as you can hear, absolutely wild. And that is what football 
is all about, isn't it? That's why we, we live and breathe. That's why we go to the games on the cold Tuesday nights when you lose 3-0 and you want the manager out. It's for moments like these that Darlington fans deserve. And my goodness me, there cannot be many more fans who've been through the mill more than these fans in the last 10 years or in their entire history. They deserve every bit of joy today, every bit of it. Well, the Mansfield players... They're right. applauding their fans as I'll well. I'll tell you what, Ray, it's nice to see Ian Miller. He's gone to the other end of the pitch and shook every Mansfield player's hand. Fantastic gesture. Now, wow. this is the walk. It's up there. Up the top. It's the match officials are going first to receive their mementos of the game. And Mansfield walk up as well. There's not many of their fans who are left behind now. Well, unfortunately, we're out of view of, uh, of the proceedings, other than the screens. And the referee, Mr Stewart Atwell. A line sometimes in the Premiership, but hey, give him credit, he's had a good game today. Yeah, you've got to take your hat off to him. He's done his mistakes, which are widely published. But uh, today, he was faultless. He even kept his uh, the manager's name out of the book for his pitch invasion at the end. <laughs> Mansfield, check upwards. James is on the touchline. And James. I've got the man of the moment, Chris Senior, with me. What went through your mind then? Um, just just um, instinct, really. We've had a few few chances a couple of minutes before bouncing around the box, and I followed it in all, on all them in instances, and I followed in then, and luckily it's fallen to me on this occasion. Now, as far as I was aware, you were, what the manager said, very doubtful to yeah. even play today. Yeah, I was, obviously, three weeks ago, I um, had a calf strain and it looked, looked like I wasn't even going to make the squad. And for me to uh, be named on the bench, it's shown a lot of faith for me and hopefully I've, I've repaired a bit of that now. And you mustn't have thought it would need a, a last-minute strike like that with the amount of chances you had. Yeah, we, we did have a few chances at the back, the post, but as a striker, you're always hoping one will fall to, fall to you and it, it has done, and luckily I've put, put it in and I, I can't explain the feeling, I, I honestly... It is the best feeling I've ever, ever had in my life, so... I think the trophy's about to come out, so I'll let you go up to the Royal Box. Well done, congratulations. Mansfield come up to the Royal Box to shake the hands of the sponsor, David Bernstein, Mark Webb from Carlsberg, and Rolly Morn, the chairman of the FA Trophy Committee. Darlington are just being held up at the moment by one of the backroom staff, Ian Miller, it's going to become the second Darlington player in history to lift a trophy. Yeah, that 19-year-old record of yours, Kevin. Yeah, then, well, at least it's going to another fellow centre-half, that's all I can say. And who would have thought, two years ago, when Darlow were in admin, when we were wondering about the future of the club, I always remember one night thinking, blimey, it's gone. It's finished. Yeah, it's I all mean, over. Ray, there's so many people being involved in the hopes and prayers How? and the well-wishing. And you know, you look at the backroom staff; it's all worthwhile. You look at Raj Singh having the yeah. faith. How, to keep how happy going. he must be! How proud he must be! Oh, tonight. he'll be on Raj the card in court for a week. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and Ian Miller tripped over the tree. Miller tripped over a step there as he walked up. Then he waves at the Dalo fans. The Dalo fans respond as he heads up the top of the steps towards the Royal Box, they briefly go out of sight be into one of the concourses, I think there's a burger van round there, something like that, and they go, he's shaking hands as he goes, Paul Anderson is following him. The Dalot fans are poised to cheer. They've stayed as a man, there's the FA Trophy, a splendid trophy indeed, it's a 42nd year, here's Ian Miller, and the Royal Box now, a huge cheer the fans, Paul Arneson salutes as well, Liam Hatch is there, Ian Miller walks along the top row, shaking hands with everyone as he goes, I'll tell you what Ray, Raj Singh is there, good for him, here we are, the emotions receives his medal, unbelievable. and here we are, Ian Miller puts his medal, in his pocket, waves at the fans, lifting them all, just building up the atmosphere. Just wait for all the players to be in position on that top row. And Darlington 
lift the FA Trophy. Huge cheer rings out from the Dallas.